All right, let's do it. Hell yeah. So last time you guys rescued the Jovan Bros, took them back to Aridens, went all the way to the Contravis Holt, where you guys were tracked by some Dragonborns. You were told to go to Dragon Scale Keep. You were like, yeah, sure. <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you guys then basically went on to Dress Fen, met up with Teddy, where he took you back into the Contravance Holt, where you guys found the Transcendence Falls, where inside of it there was a cave with ink and some interesting writings on the walls. After investigating, you guys ripped the patch, went back to Alberzine, met up with Percy, saw that the gem was still going crazy in his basement in his cellar. You all then went back up, got the tattoo from Takata, and then essentially met up with a Mr. Dober after some conversations where Mr. Tinfoil Man over <laughs> here, Magnus Steelhammer, put together quite a conspiracy theory with him thinking of a trifecta between the cloud top regions and individuals that could be affecting what is happening possibly here with the kidnappings and the elections. A grab for power, essentially, is what you said. You guys then were met by Arlanda and Orion, um, part of the Hexwell Heretics in the streets after leaving um, part of the district where you were brought to an alleyway where she basically told you that this meeting that is to happen in two nights is going to have Duradel Herrett in attendance with him being hosted by Marcus Yorwood. There are going to be most likely all of the elective representatives there, and it's going to most likely be discussed with the Red Council on means of figuring out whatever this storm in Landen is going on. Something seems to be happening. There's metal men or creatures that have been awoken or with bright blue eyes you've heard and things are happening and a plan needs to be devised so that's what the meeting seems to be about that's where we're picking up is you guys talking with Arlanda in the alleyway where she seems to have some haste and urgency as Orion is kind of watching the alleyway um it's getting kind of late into the night by 8 9 p.m and you guys kind of look around and she's standing there telling you essentially you need to make a decision. She looks at you. You guys need to go. You need to devise a plan. Understand what you ought to do next. And stick to it. If you want to go and find this Teldris. Do so. If not. Don't. Come to the meeting. We'll devise another plan. She looks at Orion. I have to go. Soon. Do you need my help for anything before I go? Okay. One question. Do you have the ability to copy <clears throat> this letter that only incriminates this guy they're inviting to take part in this meeting? She looks at you. I do not. Can you keep this letter safe? Because it's probably our only actual copy. I can... But this meeting is the best place to like actually publicize crimes that are happening. So are you gonna be there in attendance? Get... No, we're going to get Teldris. I'm giving you the proof because like, who are they gonna believe? <laughs> me, <laughs> Not this me. random tinfoil hat guy, or the famous heretic that everybody knows about? The name implies that they will most likely not. Listen to me. You're not going in there making accusations. You're going in there with... I'm not going in evidence. there by myself without the background that you all have provided and sticking my neck out in front of the Red Council. You'll never see the likes of me again. So... We need someone to throw doubt, though. I think I think we've already had a story running in the paper. Oh, yeah, we have that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we, I want someone at the meeting, though, but we don't have anybody. I don't think per uh I believe Percy Let's said that some some members of the 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 group uh were gonna be in the I don't think do you have like Dennis Do you have like anybody that could like print copies of this? 
hand them out to people discreetly. You know, like, I'm not asking you to, like, just see if you can, like, spread this I, evidence and information. I, I don't. This is... I, I she kind of leans in. I'm already busy on many other things with Orion. Me coming here but just... we'll get more proof. Put feelers out for somebody who can distribute the information. She just kind of looks at you. I, I think I think inkwells is the better option. Inkwells. Yeah, I mean we already we already have an in with a guy who is. She yeah, she that that only lasts as long as he survives. She she kind of looks and if you're going to assume him, that someone is going to just stick their neck out for you with handheld information given over or just a conversation had, that's not going to happen. You're going to either need to have someone with you while all these things are happening that has the power to do something or form a campaign or something against them. You are not going to be able to just this isn't... tell me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, who's that candidate? Beatrix. Beatrix. Can we, like, write a letter to Beatrix as we leave to get Teldris? Tell her about our stuff? Because she's anti Red Council, right? If you remember correctly. Uh, from my understanding, yes. But... Maybe getting it in with her people we with some of this information would be literally good. Literally never met her. If we're going to involve this, ourselves with her, we should. So this is a letter of introduction to set up a meeting when we get back, not to like. I'm not going to. Oh, I'm not going to send this proof in the fucking mail. Do you so know what they're doing? What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah. We'll, we'll, no, you're good. You're good. You guys. We'll come back to that. I know what I, I think want. You. Or um, you need to talk to her, right? I do, yeah. yes. Hanky I do need shack. to talk to Arlanda. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Arlanda? Get that name right? Yeah. Ar Arlanda. A-R-L. You, you Ar said the name wrong one goddamn time, and it's still Ar fucking me up. Arlanda. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, the only the only thing that I... I was hoping that we could make it back... That we could we could make it back home to Inventus. Big clouds, bro. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, it, if our methods of reaching That's an entirely different right. continent, Percy, it makes no sense to head to invent it. Doesn't make any sense. Um, we have uh, an estate, including individuals that are in our care. Rough time, they need supplies. Uh, I can front you some gold if you could get it there. You have people to hire. So you have people you trust. I know you can teleport. I don't know if that's. I'm oh, going yeah. to be but, in the, the media way, for people, at least the next are, three days. These what people in danger are children, <laughs> by the way. If that could expedite right. some three days issues. is what? the quickest I could even think, and that's if there's nothing else going on in the media. Can get supplies to them. Yeah, that, that should. I'll be there until then. The media is my most um, utmost concern right now. And what's I'm not happening? Asking you, I'm asking you to go yeah. personally. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> who is my courier? Who do you, who so, do you so, think so, I have working for me yeah. that you so, can't do it yourself? If it's such importance, do uh, it yourself. Kick him out. Uh, <laughs> um, I like you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not like you're asking us to go, you know, cross con. You're and, asking no. me to do your mother's we're work for that. someone I don't even know, really. Yeah. Hold on. What? We we fucking messaged last week. Beth messaged Dennisine. Dennisine. Yes. Was it Dennisine? And Dennisine, they had they had said they had about a week's worth of supplies left. Yeah, they were running low. About so a three week. three days. Left. Yeah. So if they can get supplies within the next three days, not a problem. Right. Totally fine. Or if they got to eat one of the kids, you know, it is what it is. You know, after recording this, watch lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three days is. is fine um essentially just food um maybe belts or any kind of thing to sustain more entirely too expensive so food rations um it'll be the basics what i can take with me and maybe nothing more than a couple days worth of food aside from that i really and she kind of looks down the hallway and you see down the alleyway Orion comes now walking. Alanda, we have to get going. The time, and she kind of looks. All right. I have to go. 
She kind of throws up her hood once more. She starts walking. Be careful. And whatever your next move is. If you are to send word, be careful who you trust. We know that the courier system works with the hex well. God sometimes and as well as the Red Council. But whether or not they know of what letters are sent back and forth is another thing. Now, if you guys are to be at the meeting, I'll see you there. If not, you want to head to Audrey. Be quick and be safe. You see as her and Orion dart out of the alleyway and head off. You guys are now there. What do you guys want to do? You didn't have anything to pick up in. I got my ish. I don't think I did either. I have everything I need. You said last week we inquired about like winter clothes, clothes and you said that they'd be expensive. All right. Okay. You guys, there wasn't a lot of things right now, aside from maybe a few shops, are kind of like sold out of a lot of things with the storms. There's a lot of people in town. Um, the general atmosphere is, you know, towns are fleeing. You know, there's this storm that's affecting pretty much everywhere. Um, some towns are being covered in snow, almost to the point of you know, not even being able to be dug out. You have some towns that are now being overruled or on the outskirts of this, you know, war forge rising that seems to be imbued with this storm out in Land End. Whatever's happening doesn't seem to be good. Everybody seems to be in high hopes over this meeting and that the Red Council, you know, is going to do something. But as you guys are kind of just meandering about, um, people are kind of gloomy. They're not quite sure exactly what the next step is or what's going to happen. There's too many people in the city for food to kind of last for a long time, and hopefully something can happen with this meeting. But you guys are doing what? Going to get... Going, going to get... get Teldris? Is that what yep. it is? Yeah, we'll do that. We need yeah, to get to that. Per and Percy will get us to outside of... New yeah, Wall. you guys right now have transportation issues. Yeah, from my understanding, Rude. it's Percy, which teleports us to New Wall, New Wall ish. Yeah, which he, then he, we will be able to fly southwest to High Peak. Yep. We find the guy, and then he gets us to Ray. I don't figure know, out that fucking problem. I don't know what issues you think we have, but we have a giant metal bird, so. Yeah. And, and, and a boat. Yeah, I think it's more of the, like, <laughs> end of the world weather. Yeah. It's, it's not a travel issue. Yeah, it's not. <clears throat> or just time, you know, think of how yeah. fast towns, you know, by the time you go there and back, yeah. by the time you come back. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta figure out. Okay. What, what could you come back to? We gotta figure out. Get there. Well. Now, as you guys are walking through, everybody give me a perception check. Perception. Yep. As you guys are just walking around, kind of the main central area of uh, the central 17. town within Alberzine. Twenty-one. Nine. Thirteen. Twenty-one. What'd you get, Magnus? Seventeen. Seventeen. You see, um, life. He kind of, as you guys are walking, just keeps to himself in the back. Uh, every once in a while, murmuring to himself, um, but nothing really seems to happen. You guys walk for about five, ten minutes, um, looking to head back towards Percy's. Uh, as you guys do so, you see a couple individuals that seem um, very off-putting from the rest of uh, pretty much the villagers and people of the town. You see a lot of new individuals, but these people seem to be walking well, in a small little group. You see a man kind of shouting, have you not sought out the differences in time? Are you all blind? You see many people are just looking at him. You're crazy, old man. And you see now this older gentleman, maybe in his 60s or 70s, he kind of looks around. 
You're all just fools. Look, the time is not right. Something does not add up. Hold the council and everyone else to it. You see he's holding some sort of paper. Things are not right. If you turn the blind eye forever, we'll be sheep. We'll be sheep, I tell you. You see just droves of people walking by. You see two individuals kind of next to him as he stands on like this small little uh, box that kind of is surrounded by what look to be nothing more than a few um, papers and what look to be pins or ornaments. You guys keep on walking. Pins and ornaments? He has a box. Yeah, he's standing on like some sort of like makeshift box and it looks like around the box behind him He has like some maybe some sort of table or whatnot. You're not quite sure. He's like maybe hundred feet off You just see droves of people kind of walking through the central part of town. It's getting late So people are probably looking for somewhere to stay um, But with the amount of people and kind of the over flooding with people in town There's still a lot of people out it's about 9 10 p.m. And it seems as if this old individual with like Two others, you're not quite sure. He's wearing like some sort of blue cloaked and maybe dark gray tunic underneath. You just see him kind of chanting as people are walking by. What are you talking about, old man? As you approach, he kind of looks. <clears throat> Time! It doesn't add up! And he kind of just looks at it. Oh. Have you not thought of it? And you look now and you see on his like tunic a large C. And now as you get closer, you see calamity. You see that these individuals might have something to do with the calamity or something. You kind of look around and you see a stack of papers and he hands one out to you. And as you look at it and you kind of look down, he kind of puts his hands down. Oh, you're all so blind. Look, Dragon Ball. <clears throat> Have you not thought? Look at this. I try not to think too much. Well, think what? The year. As you know, right now, it's 75 after the calamity. So, be technically 75 ASC. So, or A, yeah, ASC. AC. So, as you look, you, you know, notice it. Now, some of the other regions, they have members that are way older than that. We know the rocks individuals, hundreds of years old. How? Why is this not spoke of? It is, yeah. He kind of like runs his finger over, and you see another like little emblem next to the rocks emblem. The council. Why have they been in power for so long? Why are they one of the only elected officials that don't seem to abide by certain terms that the other elected officials have to? Are they hiding something? Time! 75 ASC? I'm almost that old. And I've been born here. My parents, they say they were from here. So somehow you're telling me that time at some point just vanished? Multiple generations supposedly born here. Dwarves, elves, but yet the calamity within the last hundred, something doesn't add up. Time. Where'd it go? Where'd you come from? Are you from the regions? No. Came from the service. Oh, and he kind of sits back. Oh, one of the last ships I supposed to make it. I haven't heard anyone coming from the surface in quite some time. So, there's still some down there. How much? What I've seen. Hmm. Huh. You don't think it's odd that the rocks don't come here? Why is that? Why do the elves stay out of this? Yet they're all a very old in age, many of them. But yet, 
don't ask the answers or any questions. They don't even give us anything. Why? Why have they been banned from Hexwell? Why? Time! Maybe we need to ask him. Something doesn't add up. As you walk by, you hear people. Don't listen to the old man. Oh, shoo shoo! Time, boy. Kind of looks at you very intently. Something doesn't add up. I agree with what you're saying, yeah. He hands you a paper. You see basically essentially what he's been talking about, just kind of scribbled on the front and back. You look at the two younger individuals, seem to be maybe grandsons, similar in facial features, and he kind of, you know, looks around and keeps on shouting. You guys kind of take a moment and just kind of hear him out for a moment and then start making your way onwards towards Percy's. Can Flit have a name? Um, not necessarily. It just seems to be all handwritten, each one, as you guys kind of each take one. They're very, you know, slightly different in certain ways, but basically over the same course say the same thing that you know his name's not on there no name you turn back okay <laughs> oh god you don't ask we, we, what is your name we, we took the pamphlet hoped name? it was in there my name is uh castro and uh castro castro and um if we ever meet again, you can just call us the Calamity Spectators. My family is of the name Indali. Castro Indali. And you see, is kind of now that you more, you know, take a second and really look at him, he's got a very like dark kind of grain beard with almost like a tan, dark skin. Um, Wears like almost a uh, very soft blue tunic with this dark. Now that you can see, it says Calamity, and you see CS on it. it has almost uh, embl like an emblem pattern on it. You guys take about five, ten minutes. You guys make your way further into the city. And you see Percy's shop. You guys make it around to the side entrance. You bypass the line. You see Percy is in the shop. You guys make your way in. Do we need to do anything else? What are you doing, Girth? Huh? Hanging out, bro. Yeah, hanging out doing what? Huh? Looking at your card? Yeah, looking at my card, staring yeah. right at it. How does how does Girth feel right now? Feels girthy. Girthy? You feeling yourself? Yeah, nobody else is walking around. Social intrigue gets you girthed up. All girthy. Okay. Making sure you didn't pass out. Yes, yeah, everybody know. I bought an alchemical oh, jug. I'm just like it's just like floating like next to my head, and I'm just drinking out of it periodically the whole time because it makes beer in the gallon. <laughs> right. And you don't have to worry about getting drunk. Yeah. There you go. Getting drunk because I have a cup that I can instantly sober up. So, with. anything before Percy's? Uh, you guys got anything else you want to do? Anything feel like anytime we something like five seconds after we like walk into something. Life kind of chimes up. Um, is there anything we need, guys? Health potions, gear. We're going to the high peak. So, is there anything we need? We know we can't get, you know, cold gear, but we all need it. We're going to be taking damage from the elements. Uh, that's all I got. Yeah. More than elements? Said in the <laughs> <last year. laughs> elements? Elements? Yeah, yeah from, <clears throat> from the weather. Yeah. You know, the and the elements. The Is snow. Kind of, it's it's probably both elements. things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean. Yeah, but it's good. probably not snowing in Audrey. Yeah, we're Audrey. not going to be in Audrey for a while here. Oh, it'll, be, it'll probably be. Um, uh, we see someone to somehow 
get the scroll for a bonfire. Cast it over. All right, perception check says you guys are all just fiddly dicking around what? outside. Do you have some sort of <clears throat> bond connection to your nephew? 20. 16. Uh, can like, sense his presence in a certain area? Of presence? Uh, I could send him a message. I've never seen him. I've seen him. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you sat and talked to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 20, 22. 22? <laughs> What'd you get? 16. 19. 20. Okay, as you guys are kind of walking up and kind of just hanging out, um, both of you just hear for a moment um, what sound like um, talk of you know, uh, a member. You guys look in Percy's line. He says there's about 25 individuals and about maybe five or six individuals back. You see two kind of younger individuals um, waiting in line. You hear this chatter and you guys kind of both look at each other and you kind of pick up on it and you look and you see that one of them just pulls out a card and he's just kind of showing it around and a couple people in line are looking and then turn around don't seem to make anything of it but you guys knowing what these are and you especially notice immediately and you're like and you see him kind of messing with it you can't see exactly what it is, but it's some sort of card. You don't know if hey, it's. Should he be plotting that? Probably not. About to go. <laughs> now this is what you guys are just kind of hanging outside Can of Percy's. You're you on the side door. Like what card he's holding? No, nope, you just see that it's a card. And he's just still just like this. Yeah, you 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 heard the word member, and you see that him and this other individual, you know, they seem to be. Humans, males, maybe in their mid twenties. What was the perception? Oh. Um. Well, you two were kind of talking. Gotcha. That's why. So I assume you guys are just, you know, hey, we're, you know, going uh, yeah, that here. Makes, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. I was just right. wondering. One bite. I can't do anything. They told me it's happening. <laughs> One bite. Extendable yeah, ten foot pole. <clears throat> it's a good purchase. Useful item. So it was like an alleyway in between us nope. and that person. This is kind of like out in the middle of like center of town. And just imagine like almost a circular um, pattern of like shops that are kind of jaunted off in this circular motion, even though the plaza extends beyond it. And you just see these rows of like housing that go beyond these stores. And there's just lines that kind of go out the front. And Percy's has like about 25, 30 deep. And the rest seem to be pretty much closed. So you just kind of walk up and people, they, they see you arrive, but there's about five to 10 feet in between each shop and you guys come up to the side door. And as you guys are kind of conversing, you see Percy, you know, he's in there, he's working and you see through the side window. And as you guys do so, you guys hear these individuals talking and seeing this. They're about 50, 60 feet away. I see it through the window. Nope, you're outside still. So you just see him in line. I mean, it's dark, you know, you know, you can't really tell what it is, but you see it's some a, sort of card. A hard shaped thing. Mm -hmm. like, yep. Yes. And you hear the word member. Now, while this is all going on, what are you guys doing? You guys going in? I'm ready to go. All right. I mean, unless somebody tells me. All right. So you guys go in. in. What are you guys doing? Hey, go beat the fuck out of this guy. As you guys <laughs> enter, you hear Percy. Ah, I'll be with you in a minute. And you oh, hear okay. the individuals like, oh, I want more money for this. And Percy's like, enough. Get out. And the man just kind of picks up his stuff and just walks on out. What do you do? So this dude. 50, I, get, I get to this guy in like a minute, probably. Right? Oh, dude, you get he's to him like, in, you know, five, ten seconds. If and he's you were, over here like. He's just, it, yeah, there, he's entranced in this conversation in line. With the card. Yeah, this with dude. this other individual, yeah. Showing him the card. Yeah, some sort of card. He's, he didn't like put it away or nothing. Nope. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna cast greater invisibility. Okay, on myself. Okay, give me a Are you trying to do this like out of sight of anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not just like trying to okay So you kind of like go over to the side of the building out of sight yeah, yeah, yeah. you look around And you don't see anybody well, people just hear the murmur of like Like some weird which I mean, it's uh, it's Wait, quiet. It's in song Whatever. Well, plus there's people out talking and stuff. I mean, it's not yeah. like people are you know paying attention to this. You don't seem to see anybody. Okay, it'd so it'd be weird if this felt you do. You go, you go invisible. Yeah. You go around. What are you doing? 
try to skip his card. <laughs> all right, so, right as he's like, look all right. at this, and I'm like, Whoop. all right. So and you then, you don't need to give me a stealth check quite yet. You make ooh, your way up. The they're check, talking. Though. People are in line. They're not really you know paying too much attention. You get close enough, and you see that this individual's holding on to this card. I'm gonna he's, stand near. All right. So you kind of make your way up. You're about 15 feet away. Closer. 10 feet. Let's make a scene. You see two individuals. What's up? Not the same individuals. Other people. I'm not looking line. at them. I'm right, but like, you're just kind of in the middle of nowhere, like <laughs> five <laughs> feet from a whole line of people, like, so and they're just like, like, like yeah, with yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like, yeah, my my friends are in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the bubble bush, <laughs> my friends in there. So, I'm um, just waiting on my friends. Oh. The line starts back there. Oh, I'm not in line. Okay. And then they just kind of turn and they kind of roll their eyes. and You just... know, people watching. Mm. Okay. You make your way up. You just going for it? So he's close to them? I'm like 10 feet away. Hmm. Mm. And you're well, invisible I, coming out from behind Percy's yeah, shop yeah, now. Yeah, so then I whisper in my little ring, I go, Hey, fuck this. You think you can make a scene so I can grab this card a little easier? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now the people that were just <laughs> looking <laughs> at you, no, 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 no. <laughs> they just see you. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't no, he no, he's always like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They just see you like start <laughs> like talking in your it. hands. It's like this. <laughs> Yo, dude, are you a cop? You <laughs> all right, guy? <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I think he's talking to he himself. Should, he should have just coughed. I just heard, <laughs> heard a voice in my head. You ever get that? Kind of puts his arm around this other individual. We're not going to talk to him. He's not, maybe he's not well. No, we hear this because they whisper. Dude, we're like, fuck is that? You wait a moment <laughs> and you kind of just stand there. I'm just going to start. I'm just going to grab my head. <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, get out of my head. <laughs> I'm gonna drop to my knees. Everybody kind of starts like, looking at him like, somebody needs to give this gentleman some help. Yeah. This dragonborn. Anyone? You see, one individual kind of kneels down. What? What's the problem? Get away from me! Kind of takes his <laughs> step fire. back <laughs> and he looks at you. Just, uh, no one go near him. Just go about it. He's, he's, maybe he's not well. Maybe he's drunk or something. You see people just kind of get back in line. Gonna faint. Give me a um give me a deception <laughs> check. No, give, give me a deception check. Deception? Yeah. It could be either really. Um pretended to be a fuck. But I see. I want him to oh. roll low so it's just like uh yeah. eleven. Eleven? Uh, oh. so okay. You see some of them look at you and they seem to be like, uh maybe he's just drunk. Then you see an old woman. Someone help that man, that young Dragon Ball needs help! And there seems to be no reaction. <laughs> Everybody just kind of looks around, you know. No one seems to react. She kind of hobbles over for a moment. You see this cane extend out a little bit? It pokes you. Do you react? Smack the cane out. You of smack. Ah! <laughs> he's, he's drunk or something! What is wrong with him? Do you hear them? She just turns. No, I don't hear them. The voices? No. I'm gonna run over to the line. <laughs> Do you hear them? You see people just getting back, like. <laughs> is he is he acting right now? What is <laughs> happening? Did he forget we're wearing whisper rings? What is he doing? <laughs> Are you doing anything? Like <laughs> the dudes aren't doing it. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, the people are moving around and stuff. The they're not paying people. attention to them. <laughs> you got about half the line. I mean, if you want to do something, now would be the time. So the, are the dudes distracted? Yeah, they're or? not just like, oh, hey, dude. No, yeah, oh, they yeah, see yeah, this guy like, going so. fucking crazy. And, you know, the individual, like, more than half the line is, like, definitely. So what do you do with the car? Is he just like, oh, this dude is fucking crazy? I mean, a little bit. He's, like, moving it back. Give me a perception check. Perception, you you're, well, you're about 40, 50 feet away. You move in closer. 20, not. All right, you get about 20 feet. Oh, you... I rolled. Okay, got you. 
Uh, you look, it seems as if he's kind of like moved back. He hasn't like tucked it or put it away, but it's almost like behind his like right leg as he's kind of stepped back as he's kind of like motioned into the line and like pushed people back being like, oh! you know, they kind of they motion back and people have kind of you know, pushed and clamored into each other and they've uh. kind of taken a step back. So he's kind of dropped it and the individual he was talking with kind of now has their attention on fuck this. So am I am I close to them? You like I'd like say you're about, ten, yeah, you're about 10 you're about 10 feet. They kind of are now it? trying to he drop it. He's kind of still holding it in his, his hand. Really well, he like, he like dropped his hand down. Yeah. That's not I was hoping though. that he dropped it, but... No, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna try to pick him. Alright, give me a slide hand check. <laughs> nice. Alright, so... He <laughs> can be guarded against you. Hey, let me see if there's any... I mean... A disadvantage we could... No. Crowded area. Yeah, like well, and, and this is all going different. on. So... You kind of see as his hand, just for a moment, it kind of swings back as fuck just kind of goes up and he like starts pushing these people and they kind of knock into him. You see he kind of, you know, stumbles back just a moment. And in that moment, his hand just swings back and you just quickly just grab it. You see his hand still held together. Doesn't even seem as if he felt it. You see his hand still holding like he's holding on to it, moving it around. But there's nothing in his hand. You grab it. You pocket it. You stay invisible. You just kind of greater. Yep. You just kind of keep on moving. Yeah, that would that would totally give it away. You just is like <laughs> swipe invisible. <laughs> like, so like over table or whatever. If I casted normal invisibility when I went to skeef his card, I would. Hello. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gotta, you gotta just been, like jump to the next people. That's why. Do you hear them? And Do you hear the voices? Go, no, I don't hear any voices. What? You hear a woman? Ah, uh, man, you don't hear any voices. Don't shut up, You don't hear any voices. They're just kind of looking at you. You see people start, again. people start walking off now as this is going on. You see Percy coming out. And just be like, get, get inside! What are you doing? You're ruining my business! Get up. And he kind of starts kicking dirt on you and he's like, get, get inside! Get. Now, now I want the end scene where you're just like, okay, and just like get up normal. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, the voices, they're gone! Yeah. There it is. He just kind of grabs onto you and like starts pulling onto your hands. Like, get inside! He's like, I'm sorry, cuz... I'll be with everybody in just a minute. Just give me like 15 minutes and um, I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. And he makes his way. You guys start going into the side door. He pulls you inside. He closes the front like hatch and closes the front door. <sighs> what the hell are you doing? So I went in, right? Yeah. And I'm so invisible. Well, actually, no. You're still outside. Well, you I are guess, invisible. Well, he's doing all this, you know, I would have... Do you follow him? Well, you skip it? I would have went back to where I... Okay, so you go back around, you follow them back, and then as you see them all being kind of led back in, you just kind of... I want to just keep in and just... Do you drop your greater invisibility? I go in there first. All right, so you go in, and then after a moment, you say that, and then as you drop it, he doesn't even notice because he's pissed off it. <laughs> fuck this. He just looks around, and he's so just no like... Around so, so, the no. fuck was, so the fuck was... He that closed down the shop. He closed the shop, like, kicked everybody out. It should be like, there were some young dudes out there holding the... Or talking about members. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They, frankly, they didn't. Trading cards? They were really? No, oh, no, the, the shiny shit, shit, dog. The shiny. Uh, yeah, it was a card. Yeah, she has no idea. But we don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's a Pokemon card. Yeah, it's a Pokemon card. They were talking about fucking. You pull on your record, go, please. You look at it. They were talking about members. It's a Hallmark card for his diamond. Oh, my God. Oh, God, that'd be hilarious. They were talking about membership and flaunting their card. Frankly, they don't deserve it, so. Yeah, this card right here. You look It is a. Two of clubs. Two of clubs. You look at it. And. It's two clubs. You look at it, and Wait, isn't you, that one of them shitty cards? Yeah, you, better than what he has already, yes, though. It is. You, oh yeah, you true. take because a, you have the shittiest card. Yeah. <laughs> you take one of it Up and you kind of bend it, and it like goes back perfect after a second, and you know it now nice. to be most likely true. You look at the back of it, you should have swapped them. and you see the you see the emblem noticed. of what looks like you know all four Later. of the hands uh, of all four of the emblems depicted on the back, and you know that this is a true member card. You now look, <clears throat> excuse me, Percy kind of takes a second. So, um, what's going on? Why the commotion? I would take my other card and I just tap it to the other one. No. Yeah. Well, Percy, we got, we got hard evidence. The Red Council is smuggling kids to the rocks and selling them to, like, some cult. Um, in my backpack. 
Uh, we're doing like some weird newspaper thing with his teacher. Um, that's pretty. Long story short, we're not going to the meeting in the, in the media, as far as my, as far as I'm aware. Okay. Uh, we're heading to High Peak, which means the closest capital would be New All. I know you can get us there quick. Yeah, I can. From there, we're gonna meet. Uh, once we get to High Peak, we gotta meet the guy. Uh, it's in the notes somewhere. It's in one of these fucking notes. <laughs> cart, cart, cart. Uh, quick question, Percy. Do you have like any magic that would copy this evidence we got? That we had multiple copies of it. You know, so that way, if I like die, we have a guy. Here. I was gonna say we have a guy who, here. who works with pen and, pen and ink and paper. Give it here. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't have any of that. Well, he, can you give him a copy of this shit? Yeah, real quick. I can try. He kind of s skirts over. What is this shit yeah, he, he talks, talks about? about? I'm just gonna take out one of the pieces of paper and the quill. All right. He hands me the note. It's it's the letter with address that we that they got from the crows. Okay. The signature. Okay. Is the name. No. I, haven't, I haven't figured out how this works yet, but we're gonna give it a shot. As you do so, give me a. I'm gonna read it. Um, well, yeah, you take a moment and you kind of sit it down side by side. And as you go to write, give me a uh, performance check and then um, add your proficiency. Okay. 18. That plus 7 beside a hand, though. I had a hand could work. As you dip the quill just down onto this piece of paper looking next to it just looking just almost the intent you start writing and as you, you it's slightly off you see the ink almost like shape and change and it starts to almost become exact and after a few more strokes as you keep writing the lettering and the ink go and become exact and as you start like going on you lift the quill once more and you see the lettering just keep going and as you keep the page kind of side by side next to it you wait about two three minutes and it copies the entirety of it over perfect well that's frightening in its implications that's neat here's a copy of this letter now as you do so and you lift it you see one of many of the ends of this quill. One of the little feathers just kind of falls out. But just one. You see there like, look like to one, be... Like one of the fibers on the top yep. of the quill? Yep. Yeah. Like a thousand. Yeah, I was about to say, there's probably a hundred or so. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real shitty looking... Feather. Yeah, pretty shitty, dude. More like 10,000. Come on, man. True. It's just, it's just weird. I'm just imagining like a really shitty looking quill. It's not huge. Yeah. You think he just, just walk around with this huge quill like this? I think it's like this fucking yes. big. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Those little fibers, there's like a shitload of them in there. They're, they're, they're not like, have, seen have you ever seen a bird feather? Yes. Right, okay, well, well imagine like a smaller version of that compacted within like a hundred of them on the end of it. A whole feather fell off. Yeah, but it's just a smaller version of one. Like it's a little small like feather. Oh, so instead of like... The quill being a feather, it's like it has it's like a stem with like a bunch of little feathers. Well, it's on one it. feather, and at the end, it kind of like spurts out gotcha. into multiples. Yeah. That's neat. Oh, yeah, it's not like little needle fibers, like a yeah. I thought, I thought, like, just like, like one of a hundred little fibers. Yeah. So, as you do so, Percy sits there. So, the teleporter, and um, yep, what were we gonna ask for a patch of yeah, uh, so. We kind of have a plan of getting to uh, Andre, getting Teldris. There's no way to get back. And that's what we were kind of, we were told that you would honestly be. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, by that response, probably not. Uh, I, I, sorry, but I'm actually, I've given you the patches I had and other than the teleportations that I provide, the only way back would be... <sighs> I don't know. Do you know... 
Have you spoke to Jacophine? No, that's the guy we're... <sighs> He's getting us there. We'll be able to get back. He, he, he might also have a way for us back, but having multiple. Would the patch work? Theoretically, if you're that far away? You got another one? It would, as long as you're on this plane. I get another patch? One. We we can. It'll probably take me about a week or two. Um, <laughs> I only had two robes. Hey, the, not... the second one off and it's gonna be patching it now. Yeah. I was afraid when I ripped it off, it might be used. I had to rip around it. What were you talking about? Play your instrument. Magically oh, wait. Oh, he also remote. wants a 10 foot. He wants an extendable 10 foot pole. <laughs> yeah, I would like that. Huh? Oh, that would be yeah, 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 around. Yeah. We have a magical shrink. Yeah, we'll pack the pile back. Beer, I, can, I, can, I can pack, throw what? a patch out. Have some of your beer, dude. You have a yeah. cup? Yeah, I just stick my head in it. Uh, yeah, just let me. Give me your water skin. I just. Water. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. No, did you pour out all of it? All of his water? Okay. Or just a little bit? He is watered down beer. Now it's, it's yeah. empty. It's all beer. We have all beer. <laughs> no. Constitution saving throw. Yeah. You just drink like a gallon of beer. Water He's a lightweight. A gallon? He's a lightweight little young man. Yeah, the water skin holds a gallon? I'm not chugging the whole thing. Yeah, these say, yeah, you have like, I'm assuming it's like a big water Let's say it's about, let's water say six to eight big. ounces, let's say. It may be bigger, but let's say that. It's one, 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 bro. You weigh like 110. That's who, bro? It's fucking 220. D&D Beyond. True. Is it the a peach? Yeah. <laughs> Saving, you said, right? Yes. Yes. It's four pints. Four pints of nineteen. Oh, you handle it easily. That is it. That is you a slam lot of it, yeah. and you uh, just uh, for a moment stagger, but boo, shake how it fuck, off. How fucked up is he? He's getting there. He's yeah, warm. I'm like, yeah. More? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. This is this is my tanker. Drink out of this. Uh, uh, so do you want to be drunk? Takes, takes off the edge a little bit. Oh, it does. Just clog, clog, knock it back sober. down. <laughs> Sober's right up. Sober now? Yes. Takes the edge off the warmth that you had. Gone. Percy's just looking at you guys. So oh, the teleporter. Um. What they're doing? Are we? You fill my water skin on beer again, dude. Are we gonna be? Uh, Here's another four pints of we, beer. Are we telling anybody anything else before you leave? Or are you guys ready? Can I ask for something? Maybe. What? You said maybe. Does that mean I can or can't ask? I mean, you can. Depends on what it is. Do you have like a beginner magic? Beginner of magic book? Magic. Four? Uh -oh. I have a bookshelf that I sell stuff on. <laughs> I can teach you, you know, a little water skin. Like, I'm not mean being salty and fuck this. Maybe. But I don't think academics is your strong suit. You got a football you scholarship, got didn't you? I'm trying to work. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm, say, I'm saying, like, I'm saying a basics of magic might be so advanced. Okay. You should get the magic the for back dummies. Back like everyone else. Of them. Some are easy, you kind of kicks through. Like like one. Is there this a basics fine. for magic book? Is there yeah, a yeah, look yeah. at it. I think it's got a couple hard. holes in it. I think for someone of your nature. You go back over and you rummage through the pile. Yeah. 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 That's something. Do what feels right. That's awesome. You're magically capable. No water in there. No water. They're empty. Kind of experiment. Is there anywhere I can fill it? I don't know. You just don't look like the arcane kind of guy. Is anywhere I can fill it? I want to learn. In his area? Not in his area. I can give you a lesson. Empty I can show you my like my technically he's not do, he's not our kind of guy. Um, not at all. What are you guys talking about? His it's magic's like instinctual. They're trying to stop me it. from educating myself. Well, I picked up a couple. Never oh. stop a man from educating himself. <laughs> Never. Dang. This is better. We teleportation, right? Yeah. Jesus, it's like a customer's waiting. Yeah. Oh, ten, expendable oh. ten foot oh. pole. Yeah, you don't you don't have like a. 
You don't have like a a, a stick that can grow and shrink, do you? Actually gives us the power. Yeah. Oh. It gives us the power pull from Dragon Ball. Oh, kick it, still can yeah. kick it. Um, there's a movie. pile up back. You go look and um, just yeah, if you find one, you can just have it. Oh, I'll right. go look. Give me an investigation, investigation check. Woo! I'm good at this. Hey, uh, I fast fuck this if this uh water skin smells. Yeah, it smells. Not good. Twenty six. No. It's a, I get advantage like because my glasses glue. though. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? It's twenty six. I don't fucking. It smells like the inside of like a baseball glove can after I find, like years. Well, if I, yeah, so can I, uh, if I anything, throw it back and go give me, fucking give me a investigation check. I did 26. Hurts. He did not back any time. Him. Him. Oh, he's looking too for yeah. stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for 26. Yeah, yeah, you find one. It's a little and janky, else, but it works. It's like, every time you, you know, bust it in and out, but it, it works. 11. Yeah. And mildewy. <laughs> so I find another one. Yeah. Smell doing. It smells. But it's less smell doing. Okay. Maybe wash it a few times and it might be alright. Yeah, yeah. Good. Anything else? Those peach rings. Whew. Can I use my tinker's tools to attempt to repair this bendable pole? Yeah. Like an intelligence point. I go back right. and look for enough. So. How do you do tool checks? Sure. It would be. Actually, I want it would, you're, you're proficient in it. You no, take about be, yeah, 15 to 20 fun. minutes. Oh, and you, and you finally dig right? in, or you find well, one. It's like, pretty yeah, pristine. It's a little bit wet on the outside, but on the inside. 24. It looks like it's ever been used. Oh. Perfect. Oh, 24. Yeah, you kind of bend the rod a couple times back and forth. And, I'm using Tinker's. Well, like you, you you get it after a few few moments, and it, yeah, yeah, you, you oil it up. You uh, yeah, you you use what is in the shop and around you, and you you manage to make it operate without making any noise. And pull me. You guys make your way back downstairs. Percy has prepared the teleportation, has the rune in the floor, and he. That, uh, ink still on fire in the corner? You look over and it is. Oh, we're in a different room now? Yeah, you guys have made your so way downstairs. Do you feel safe? There is actually downstairs, yes. you get caught on in fire? his, uh, like, secret room? I mean, like, yeah. He's got, like, a small like, little, like, bar area. Yeah, yeah, it is. He, 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 he like, makes his own kind of drinks and stuff down like, there, yeah. So, my water all right, you go over there. Yeah, you fill it up. All right. Now, the ice in the fire kind of still... Not really affecting each other, but it's still burning. You see, it's almost like a little, almost like a cinder black spot that's kind of burnt on the floor like in the stone. It? It's just like a dope. It's not around it. It's more like it just in like a, almost like a two foot area around it has just kind of stopped. And then the rest around so there's it still is. Like, so there's ice encroaching. Yeah, encroaching. It's just not around Yeah, around it. Yep, yep. It's getting there. Maybe another day or so it might be at that stage, but for now, not yet. So. A few pants of ice. Damn. So anything else before you guys gather yourselves? Before we pop out of here. Uh, above table, I want to ask for man more magic <clears throat> items. But table? Uh, fuck it, you got like a fucking magic lotto machine that we just like fucking, you just like <laughs> go in there, dive, and just give us one random uh, thing each. Uh, you got the junk pile, that's about it. This has done us a lot of favors. I don't want to. Yeah. I want to like. Is that yeah, we should find a blueprint for us, like, pop machine. We can give it. <laughs> pose. One pose. All right, I think we're good, Percy. Okay. Yeah. He's got customers waiting. Yeah. And you guys got a lot to do. It sounds like, and uh, time to table to keep. New wall is closer. Wait a minute. Than... Quick question, question before we. Whatever get... is that other capital? Teleported. Do you have anything to help with cold? Because, like, we need to ask everyone this. Yeah. Oh, I do not. Everybody keeps asking that. It's freezing. You got a dire wolf. I know. But look, if you come to Hexwell and you're not ready, then, um, only the city. I'm pretty sure all of us are wearing, like, normal winter clothes. Yeah. It's beyond normal winter clothes. 
outside, outside the, the cities. cities. Yeah. We'll be fine. That's why they're in the cities. Hopefully. You guys leaving? You ready? Ready as we'll ever be, I guess. All right. You guys walk into the center of this room where in the bottom you see this bright blue runic uh, light kind of embellished onto the floor. You wait a few moments. Percy seems to put his hands down onto the floor, and after a few seconds, you feel this fluid like motion, and you guys are teleported out, and you guys are brought to the same spot outside of this tree about a mile outside of New Wall. And as you do so, it's about 11 p.m., completely dark, and the wind is blistering and howling. As it does so, you see the snow and the ice just immediately starts pelting you as you guys exit. You guys feel the warmth that you guys just felt inside Percy's um, store leave and immediately are met by just cold, ice chilling cold. You guys wait a few moments. What do you Wait guys a minute, do? I have two of Guild Wars masks in somebody's faces too. So this head roll. I don't think I it worked for you. Mm-hmm. It's like a dragon got thing going no, on. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah, you like have I it. Have kind of rolled up. You wear it I have back. snow outfit. Like a permanently clothed one or like it probably doesn't. I got it when I was open it up. Uh, but with this extra mask, what well, you want to make yeah, it, you want to wear or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of around my Yeah, I'd say I'd say that would help some. Yeah. Would this mask help, Joey? I have Gildor's extra mm. mining mask. It's that one. It's that I mean, thing. a little bit, but it's, it wouldn't be enough to, like, really. It would stop his face from freezing. Okay, well, maybe it'll help from the wind, but not from the temperature. In you all? Uh, no, I think we're, we would be yeah, doing anything else. You guys are just outside yeah, New Wall. It's a, it's a to the mask. south. Oh, dang. Oh, uh, and we need to head south. It's also a gas mask. Might be. So it would stop him from, like, inhaling the ice and shit. Okay. Else? I'll yeah, wear the yeah, other yeah. one because I got two of them. You guys do anything else before gathering? Man, my contacts so are freaking dry. Head roll thing, dude. Just whenever the I'll just say if you have any checks, it won't be a disadvantage. Okay. All right, you guys gather yourselves. Yeah, I'm wearing a gas mask. Are you I'm wearing a gas mask? Are you changing? Are you guys traveling by foot? What's your uh, game plan? You said you said the like. What is the weather? It's cold. Oh or yeah, is it, it's it's, it's the wind is all. Oh, it is. You guys are going to be making checks. Okay. Yep. Well, thank God we Shit's have the answer from the guy that's not here. You guys don't even see like the the main road anymore from before when you guys you know went here. You guys could almost see the main pathway towards New Wall. The snow is completely covered, and there's no sign or tracks of any of that now. Um. Ow. So there, I have two options. There's, there's the uh, I can turn into a giant goose, but it's kind of windy. I could also turn into uh, a giant polar bear. You could probably just ride me like. So you could just pull the boat because yeah, it's guess. snowy. Yeah. It'd be like a sled. That's that's also possible. I got some um, super rope. And guess. aren't there horses in that fucking? Why would I do that? I yeah, a polar bear would stick. Oh, Just because he only you have any eight. faster ground animals that oh, can pull a bow? No, no, no. Not in it's, it's, it's your snow thing. this thick. Polar bears kind of designed to do this. Uh, horses do not hooves. Don't do well in snow. Plus, there's, you know, trees and forests and stuff. So if you guys are going, you know, <clears throat> there's no real trail anymore. Oh, dire wolf. Yeah, dire wolf, but like probably not as effective as a polar bear. Cheap. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want. Yeah, but it's but it's how much it's distance not, can we cover? Yeah, that's a good. I'll let me like which one's one. faster. Like it, it, it can't be. Let's uh, we can also just do do a shift of our, uh, and if that goes okay, we just keep doing goose. We just keep doing goose. It's shaky. Those calls, no, no longer goose. You want to have feather? Yes. 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 Go. Right. So if anyone falls out of the boat, no more goose. Try that. Uh, life, you still got an enhanced ability? Yep. Cool. Probably gonna need that. Uh, so from my from my rough estimations here, the border. About eighty. Because we're going down into. 
opposite of the uh, continent. Gildre. Yeah, like, that's where we're going, right? Yeah. Well, Gildre is the next like adjoining region. I, I think it's yeah. right over yeah. there. Yeah, it's yeah. right on the border. Yeah. What do you say? Do they need to do any short? Uh, took a short rest. I think so. Took a short rest. Nope. In the corner. Yeah, it's up at the very like corner peak of the north west. Okay. So really, we're like a hundred. So let's let's do a goose. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna. Take my, my boat patch. Yep, pop it out. Throw it out. Yep. Everybody starts loading in. I think everybody should light a torch so that way it's like a large enough fire that, like, with all of us, it kind of warms us in this boat. But it's not going to be hot enough to hurt him. You guys attempt to light your torches? Yes. That's nearly impossible. That it's so cold, oil doesn't burn anymore. It does. It's more or less the wind, it just pretty much blows it out. I was gonna say I have a have a lamp. The robe has two lanterns that would covered lamp. Yeah, that might help. Yeah. Yeah, let's use those. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop yeah it also that. fit. It also fit with the rowboat thing way more than torches. But I feel like it's not good for not good for heat. Though. It'll be better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, it'll give you light. It's probably not gonna help you on the terms of providing any heat. You guys have bed rolls? Yeah, I'll, I'll hand out some. Let's right. just all lay in bed rolls. I mean, I have my bed roll around me. Yeah. yeah. Can, can we okay. do that? That's what he's yeah. doing, yeah. You, uh. You can do that. Okay. That's a good idea. Let's just let do you, you have a bed roll? roll? Yes. Okay, okay, well then, yeah. You get a filled lantern, and who wants a filled lantern? Oh you. my god, wait a minute. I have a tent. Oh, we, dude. I open the tent. <laughs> Assemble that's too many. It's too many. It's too many. That's not a good idea. Yeah, that wouldn't work. On a boat, <laughs> you start trying to put it up, and it's just like. Right. Yeah, we should stop doing this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You got your filled lantern. He kind of kicks off, and, and you just see Magnus start running into the black, chasing after the tank. He comes back after two minutes. I'm done doing that. Might as well try. Everybody get in their bedroll, I guess. All right, okay. All right. Is everyone ready? Life, are you ready with that enhanced ability? Because I'm probably going to need it. What do you want it in? Uh, strength. All right. I'm going to need everything I can yep. get. All right, so he'll use one. All right, cool. Uh, and then if we're good to go, turn into a giant fucking goose. All right, so you pop all into the raft. Well, the boat. You guys all grab on. Well, you grab on. Yeah. You guys all sit in it. As you do so, you lift up. You feel the wind as you Do guys look around. Do have enough to tie us down to the boat? Or at least, like, uh, make, like, handles? Like, just one around? <clears throat> you know what I mean? We so we have, like... It would have to be breaking. Well, I mean, I got... Is the, the, strong, the strong the strong rope, rope is holding the, is holding the, the boat. boat. Yeah. But right. we have regular rope, too. Oh, then let's use the regular rope to make, like, a little, like, almost like it's a... Uh, boat long enough for me to lay down it. You know what I mean? Um, It would be, but not with everybody yeah. else. I'll see Hey, down together. Like, <laughs> no, no, you're not allowed to navigate. Like, this is what we go. We, I want to make a net out of the rope, and we're all going to lay down. Oh, and tie it down. In the boat. And then, <laughs> yeah. Why don't we just, just, we're, none of us are driving. Why don't we just put, like, put, like, three lines of rope across the boat, and then, like, lay underneath it? I'd and say, then, I'd say so two. Something to hold on. I'd, I'd say, say two could lay down. No, no, net. Lay down. We're in bed rolls. It's cold. Yeah. Just, I'd say two could lay down. I, the only way that hurts is if he draws the boat. You're gold dragon. They'd have to sit towards the opposite ends. Like, two could probably lay down them. Set a mass, you know? Hey, you're really warm. You have to be towards the end sitting. You guys gotta go. You gotta cuddle. Butt the butt. You're good. Two could lay down. Two would have to sit. No, we're no pollen because of one fire breather. No, no. You're just gonna stack up. Are you, are you just gonna lay on top of each other? No. Well, shouldn't we lay on top of him? No, we're laying on top of him. Because he breathes fire. Aren't you fucking metal? What is this? No. no. I am a dwarf. I'm the metal. Uh, <laughs> the the I'm metal also goose. Metal. As you look I'm over and yeah, you see the goose metal. that is getting ready to grip it. Honk. All right, what are you guys Do doing? Are we or not, then? Dude, we're cuddling. Right, I, I saw the boat. Are we doing another one? Are we doing this? Or are we trying to do a net? Net. 
We're all laying. Do we have enough rope for that? Uh, give me a... <clears throat> Someone give me a uh, sleight of hand check. Can I assist him? Sure. Or separate, separate rolls. I'll allow separate rolls. Uh, he has a, no, he has advantage. Should I should not have rolled. No, you, you can't. You should roll it, but... 17. <laughs> okay. Um, you take a we few just, minutes. We should just mod a net. You, you make <laughs> some pretty good what look to be handholds. So um, that's this about it. Everybody fire seems fire to have a pretty <laughs> good <laughs> you know, grip. You, so. um, you attach <laughs> anything like to each other or whatnot, or is it just, you know, to the boat? I don't know what the fuck's happening behind Neither do I. I, mean, I don't know. Are you attaching it? I was ready to go. I mean, I'd attach the ropes to each other, yeah. Well, no, I mean, like, to each other. Are you attaching the, like, or just, you know, making grips for people to hold on to? Do you want to make, like, yes, I want to do like this. this? Or do you want to do, around. he wants a net. You can't make a fucking net out of three ropes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, that so out, I mean, I'm not that out. Fucking good. Let's do this. Just take the ropes and wrap it. All right. So you just wrap them around. Three. Okay. So you make a couple. There's three strings yeah. of rope yeah. that we yeah, can yeah, just hold, hold on to. to. Gotcha. Yeah. And they're tight. All right. And one in between. Now, now three. as you grab <laughs> on, you guys sit in it. You lift off. You ready? Honk uh, honk. Yeah. And uh, yeah. It, it takes it off. Opens, yeah. Sure. You lift off. You start going up here, and you just feel the wind start really kicking in. As it does so, it's going to be quite a struggle. It's going from west to east. So it's going It's going kind of in the way you're going. I'm fucking lying down. Going west to east? Wait, is it like a robot with like benches? You got kind of, yeah. I'm laying So I mean, you guys are, you know, kind of going with. Yeah. We're almost going Almost crosswind, yeah. Try to now, knock me out of this map. Now, now as you do so, give me a strength check. Oh, I'm gonna have advantage with that. Ah! Do, 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 do. Would it be so would anything happen or is it just because of the wind or he's trying to make sure how he's flying. Oh, well, yeah. that's the robot's like, like a robot robot against against right? It's got two. That was a, a 20 for a 22. Oh, nice. Okay, so you you fight the wind for quite some time. You kind of stay low, and then after a little bit, you kind of find a solid like stream, and you, you start riding the wind a little bit. You find a decent you know area and a pocket of air, and you feel like it's not going to fight you too much. But as you guys travel for about the next two to three hours, how long does your flight allow? Four. Four. So about two hours in, I need constitution saving throws as you guys feel just wind and Plus damage three. as Plus this three. huge like Plus ice three. wall just kind of comes at you guys as you guys are in the boat. 21. Constitution save is what he says. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, you say Plus three? Plus three. 18. 18? All right, if you pass... You are going to take five or four points of damage. What do we need? Pass. No. Yeah, if you pass, you're going to take four. If you fail, you're taking eight because I rolled max. So laying down, not laying down, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, not here. Okay, cool. No. Nope. What do we need to pass? Because you're not a disadvantage. I assume this would have all been a disadvantage, but you guys. So. Well, actually, are, do you have resistance? Yeah. Well, then you'd be a disadvantage because they're. I failed anyway. Okay. So then you, yep, you take the damage, you guys go on. Um, eight if you fail, cold damage. Four if you pass. What was the threshold? Um, because you're going to ask this again. It went yeah. up, and it is now 16. Okay. So 16 now, and it's not 1d4 anymore, it's 2d4. Cause now the... here, I always halved with my cold, with my... Uh, like not I've anymore. Got, like, the winter... Not anymore. I'd say the tier one you were, but now it's increased. You guys are, I'd say, with the bed rolls and kind of being huddled, not a disadvantage. That's about as much as you're getting. Anything outside of that, you guys start moving around and stuff. You guys, you know, lose your bed rolls. You guys are without getting more gear or anything. You're gonna be back to disadvantage. You just bought more bed rolls. 
Covered us. Mm-hmm. Just covered the boat with bed. Become tailors. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, so so the, like you're, like the winter clothes I was wearing, you say have no effect on what's going on here. It's too cold. It's, it's too cold. cold. You guys have like basic winter clothes. Like we're talking. I have. He got the stuff. Oh, that's I right. That no, stuff. you're fine. You're fine. You're 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 not fine. Right. But I'm saying like last time right. maybe do half. Should I, I do half or should I do like? Yeah, I'd say you have. Yeah, okay. for now. You're you're always good until it ticks up one more time. Like once it ticks to like a, I'd say a tier three, then everybody's yeah. How about it just doesn't. <laughs> yeah, hey, you guys can deal with the storm. Hey, hey, hell yeah. So you guys um, start flying on. You guys keep going. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, you make strength saving throws. The wind starts picking up, and you hit, like see this huge gust as the wind. Save now? Yep. It changes on you. As now you see that you are you're flying, you're maintaining this, but now it's starting to really wear on you. You feel that the second half of this might be a little tougher. This is six plus three is not. So aren't you plus two though? I think it has to be before they roll. Bar of oh, inspiration. He would have. He would have had to give it to me yeah. in the last ten minutes. Right. Um, so you kind of coast. You feel this change. Um, it doesn't really affect you too much, other than you know you're probably not going to make it as far as you wanted to. Um, the exhaustion starts to set in a little bit earlier, and with that, you immediately feel from this. You just take one point of exhaustion. You start realizing that you know this wind and this storm is really severe. And the more you fly in it, the more it is probably just going to beat and batter you, basically. You see that a lot of the... <clears throat> you're almost too big, in a way. You know, if maybe you were smaller, it might almost be better. Like, you this large form and whatnot is just getting pelted by the ice, by the storm, by the wind. It's just almost moving you around too easily. Now, as you guys come to the tail end of your guys' first um, part of the journey... You guys find a little nesting area. You block yourselves out of the wind. You guys rest for a little bit. Um, what do you guys want to do? You guys want to take a long rest, short rest? You guys are about, I'd say at this point, uh, you traveled about 25, maybe 30 miles. Um, the wind kind of helped you a little bit in the first part, but then kind of halted you on that second part, or you might have been able to make it a little bit farther. Um, so you traveled quite a bit of distance, actually. Like, that's pretty good cover, Jack, um, in comparison to what you guys would have been able to do on land. But you guys probably have about another... Um, and you guys could push it, but you don't have his form. I have another one. Well, that's what I'm I saying. Can do it twice for short rest. That's, that's what I'm saying. You guys could rest, push it again. And what then... exhaustion do? A disadvantage on checks. Uh, if your movement? No, that's during that's combat. Like three. Like three. Yeah. yeah. I'm only at one, so I'll have a disadvantage on the spring check. Um, and if you really wanted to, you guys could push past that point and then make constitution checks to see if you guys get exhausted, but yeah, that's if you really wanted to, you know, get there quickly. Depends on what rate you guys are wanting to get there. We were heading southwest, like directly southwest. Yep, for the most part. Any landmarks? Um, too snow to tell. You you guys are in like a wide out at this point. Like the snow is too crazy. You just see. We're literally moving because the compass. Yeah. Our map. For the for the most part. What were you saying? I just said ah. Okay. All right. Well, you guys rest the first night. Um, as you as you guys rest the first night. Um, we make like a like a, a shitty snow like just big old. It's like an igloo. Uh, sure. You you know you take about an hour and you kind of dig out a hole. It blocks the wind, um, which will help. I'll knock down one d four. Um, now as you guys are sitting here, is a short rest or a long rest? Um, take a long rest. I feel like long rest. Okay. No life is used. Enhanceability at number of times. Yeah, I think he's down two. I'm getting. I also have that point of exhaustion go away. I still need. I'm. I'm only have two psychic die left. Like I said, the, so well, I need a long rest too. I thought you got the really yeah, long rest. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it would probably be for the long rest. Okay, so as you guys, make, I'd say we take a little more time to make like an actual fucking. All right, um, shelter. You guys hours. do the best you can, grab, grabbing like some makeshift wood, um, putting it together. It's not the best as you guys are kind of just throwing it together. Um, Unless you guys want to take a little bit more time. Um, But as you guys do so, 
it kind of blocks a little bit of the weather. Um, if you want to make something that maybe is a little bit more hardy, um, someone was going to need to make a... Uh, I just wanted to, like, fucking dig a fucking, like, hole. You want a fucking like igloo type yeah. of situation. Like, you know, I'm assuming there's like, because you're saying yeah, it's like deep. 20 feet of snow. Right. So, like, you oh. just dig five feet down and, like, this way. Do you have a shovel? He is the shovel. Well, that'll. <laughs> okay. We'll Wait, get... we're about to long rest. Turn into something with tunnel and stuff. Oh. I can do that. Uh, okay, yeah. why not? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll turn into one of those fucking uh, giant badgers. Oh, Alright, so you just tumble down a certain amount of feet. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll carve. Yeah, I will carve out essentially like an uh, an under snow igloo. Alright, so you just go like straight down, or like it, it would be at a, at a, at a okay. So you go and like an like angle. Fucking... Alright, so it goes down and then kind of opens up. Sure. Yeah. Alright, so you guys go down there. As you guys do so, about an hour later, you guys start seeing that the snow starts kind of concaving back down where you guys had gone in the snow with nothing like supporting it. It starts like kind of falling in on itself. And as you guys kind of drill down in, you see that the back end just starts almost concaving in on itself. And after a few moments, you see that you're maybe 20, well, this is what 15. Fire, this is what fire breath's for right now. Ground, you know, feet underground in the snow starts kind of as if it'll it'll melt and flash freeze. Doing a <laughs> you see, it's kind of <laughs> sifting, and you notice that it's probably gonna fall soon. Breathe it. Breathe it. Breathe it. <laughs> Set the fire right. at it. All right, so you wake up. Um, give me your damage roll, because this is technically two layers of snow. What is it like? Three D six or some shit. Yep. Plus your con mod or some shit. 11. Oh, barely. So you get through just enough as you see the snow as it starts kind of snowing down and breaking down on you. As you do so, the fire just it emits up through and it melts through and you see just the top of the layer just kind of melt through. And now you see just like 15 to 18 feet of snow above you just evaporate as it starts sifting and falling down after this concave started to happen and like this little cone-ish open void is now above with the night sky. Just lurching up above you. Did the sides of it freeze? Uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. After a second, yeah, the sides did. So now you guys are, you know, down in this like slippery slope. Giant yeah. Least, I mean, we're at least out of the wind. I don't add. Any, I don't add anything to that. Stuck in a hole. You don't. Uh -uh. The damage is three d six because I'm level. I'm at level eleven. It's four. All right, so what are you guys doing? You guys taking any watches? Or you guys just well, saw the bottom of this, down? Out of this wind. I'm gonna set up my tent. My tent. Okay. So before I go to sleep, I want to attempt to take out one of the parchments. Okay. Can I attempt to like, make spawn some upgraded, like what I'm wearing? Can I try <clears throat> to create some kind of upgraded winter gear? What are you write? Mm. I guess like cold cold protection <laughs> advanced cold protection yeah tier 2 cold protection at tier one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want though you want clothing yeah, or okay like, yeah so like a robe yeah. or it's like like what am i i'm what am i wearing like cock like, ring you're naked or... yeah. <laughs> it's like an <laughs> overcoat cock ring of yeah. Yeah. It's, no. like, it's like a hooded fur and overcoat is okay what I'm so you want like a robe yeah well what do you i mean be specific okay be specific do you want a robe do you Excellent. want cloak do you want a hat do you want like cloak of advanced cold cloak protection? Ring. Okay, so you write cloak of advanced cold protection. You wait a moment. As the ink kind of goes in, you see one more of the feather as it falls. After a few moments, you see the like writing kind of shift to this blue. As you do so, um, give me another uh, 
Oh, what was it? Performance. Um, performance. Performance plus your proficiency. 18. Nice. Uh, you wait this time about five to ten minutes, and as you do, you see the paper, it starts to fold in on itself. And as it does so, you see the corners from each end, they start folding in, and as they do so, they start almost folding in and mounting up, like folding and then going back, mounting up the paper. And as the four <laughs> sides meet each other, you see it almost like an origami shape form into what looks like this little tiny version of like this cloak. As it does so, you wait a minute, and then the blue text that was like infused into it that you had just seen wrote sparks into the blue of this small little like makeshift origami paper. You wait a minute, and then in an instant, you just see it. It just pops right in front of you. This fur thick blue, like iced with like white frost tipped cloak just land before you heavy, and it just sits in your lap, and you see the paper just. Fizzle out and disperse. You feel it now very warm, very heavy, thick, like four inches. And as you feel it, you just throw it around and immediately feel the warmth. It encompasses all the way around your shoulders, all the way down, almost to the back of your calves. It's nice. How long did that take? All in all, with writing and it uh, happening, three minutes, maybe four. Maybe five to think of the idea. So, and as you see it, so we're just you, gonna not mention that he that just happened. Anybody else? And, and you have twenty three pages left. What one? <laughs> I mean, most of the time we're traveling outside. I'm a bird. That's what I'm thinking. Now, so unless you got like a magic uh, item, give me a perception that. check. So is it just you can give me a perception okay. check as well? I was gonna go ahead. Us? I'll go ahead and make three more. Okay, wow. give me a three more checks. Yeah. It's not below us, or do we dig like two? You dug to what is now ice. 23 perception you said. That's fine. 17 perception. 23, 17, 13. Two fail. The 23, though, since it was first, because each time the DC will go up, works. The other two fail, though. And this one almost completely white with black almost like a robe that is like formed and once again you feel it kind of land after just a couple moments and now you have two very thick cloaks and you see they seem to be there yeah 20. you wait a moment and while you see him riding and the other two kind of like Waiting and preparing to uh, kind of take a moment. You see this small, kind of dark, faint, shadowy figure that is kind of illuminating in the sky. You wait a moment, and you see it kind of sift by very quickly. As you do so, you wait, and you see a bigger figure flying. And as you wait, you see it get closer, you get closer. You see probably maybe 100, 150 feet off. Barely through all the snow that's kind of falling in the darkness, this large wyvern figure that you saw previously land, and the two dragonborn figures land off and just kind of wait. Just on the cusp of what looks to be like this forest line, maybe just off in the distance. They don't move. So I saw the two dragonborns get off. Mm hmm. How long, you, how long have we been? Uh, at this point, maybe five days? Uh, 30, Six 40 days. minutes. I mean. Nothing too crazy. You guys just started to get ready for your, your long rest when all this started to happen. And they seem to just be watching. You guys take a few moments. You seem to be messing with your things. And we're going to take just a quick break there. Because I got to take these freaking contacts out. And I got to go to the bathroom. Can you look up? Oh, yeah? Tell me if that would help at all. Okay. Uh, so through two teleports mm -hmm. and flying, they still know where we are. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. It, well, okay. It, first off, you guys left them here. Like when you guys bounced. It, yeah, they they. They were already in this region. Yeah. So you guys essentially came back to them. Uh. But anyway, yeah. So.
They're like, made a tiny cloak. But also, do any of us want to pilot right. your ship? We're bringing them back. We'll figure right, it out. We're back. If you hey, can, make, you, make, make, you might want to ask the buff, because we can buff you. We can make, so, we can make that so. possible. We left off with you guys literally seeing the Dragonborn individuals that have been following you seem to be still trailing. While you guys were trying to take your long rest, you guys are still getting it. They haven't done anything, but... <laughs> what are you guys doing? I'm just going ignore, to well, ignore them. I'm going to spawn a mechanical beholder. <laughs> Lurching up out of the ground. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. No, no, no. No, you're not. You're not. <laughs> And uh, you did not. I'm surprised he hasn't written, like, very powerful halberd. Ah. Yeah. I mean, I did yeah. tell him that there are limitations. Yeah. Just make a boat. Yeah, but tank. he's fucked this. I think he'd gamble with very powerful halberd boat if that was tank. an option. Boat because his other Who did you give so your much. robe to? The other robe? Uh, skinny boy. Okay. I'll give the skinny uh, I'll give the lesser one to yeah. him, I guess. Magnus. And life's not here. He's here. He kind of looks at you. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Gordon from. Been uh, talking to yourself a lot. What, you, what are you saying? Things, contemplating things. Yeah. Kind of betrayed again. <laughs> He's the actual antagonist. Is pretty sick. All right. So what do you guys do? Uh, watch. Fuck him. Right. I'm, your I'm, I'm, I'm out, dog. Who's out? Who's in my tent? Me, 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 me. I drink. I'm drinking beer in his tent. <laughs> We're getting so smashed. We're getting smashed. Smashed. Just put up. Just wham. It's okay. At, at dawn, I can make it make four more gallons of beer. Oh uh, yeah. Or mayonnaise. Are you guys getting smashed? Smashed. Is your bar? Smashed. Smash, yeah. Smash, smash. Yeah. Like, are you sleep. drunk? Yeah. I mean, I drink my one water skin full of beer. That's four pints. Yeah, give me a con save. Are you? Yeah. Give me a but con save. But <laughs> mega con. You have advantage yeah. against poison. Well, and it's in in getting drunk. It's technically a poison. It is. It's... <laughs> um, you're smashed. Twenty-three. You, you wait a minute. Well, you're not super smashed. I'll so say. I'll say you're the drunk. First four pints. Not do nothing. And then after. A while, I said you were tipsy, but then he gave you the sobriety. I said you were feeling warm. It's too and then much. You were... I got the sobriety. You, my bad. You did. You, you did. Before I just drank half, half, full half of the remaining now. And you rolled like a nineteen. Yeah. You needed at least a thirteen, and you rolled a twelve. Actually, I rolled, you know, plus fifteen. Oh my god, we're still within range of his aura. So plus, plus three. Plus three. <laughs> <laughs> we can get so more space. You're, you're, you're just tipsy. Yeah, you're rolling really tipsy. Know. I'm sleeping. So technically, because then it's not, is it only when you're conscious? Yeah. How well, are you sleeping no. now? You went from rope nope, shit you're down to sleep. Yeah, you're drunk. Uh, like, you're drunk. So he's asleep. He wrote his stuff. Squirreled, sleeping. He's sleeping after you're drinking. Right? I'm 23 with my con save, though. You're good. You're a little Weird. drunk, but not too bad. I'm a dwarf. I'm an alcoholic. You, though, you're, you're pretty drunk. And I go to sleep. Okay. Anything else? I make sure he's like on his side. All right, give me a perception <laughs> check. So in case he throws up. <laughs> well, hey, make it a disadvantage because of the snow and the this range and everything. Was like... And you're down in a That's hole. That's what that spell prestidations for. Uh, clean this. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, you can't see the greatest from your vantage point. You know, you're doing the best you can. Switch to thermal. You see. Nothing really. You notice that the snow's building up. Um, you were waiting. Nothing. Too much cold for the heat vision to matter. Uh, not necessarily. It's just he doesn't necessarily see anything possible either. Um, he's not quite sure. Uh, you guys wait. Nothing seems to happen. Um, you don't wake or do really anything. Um, <coughs> as you guys are kind of now down in this hole, you're waiting. Nothing more nothing and then you hear a couple howls they seem to be kind of close but you're not quite sure and then nothing you guys continue long rest you guys start moving around and you still see it's about 
5, maybe 4 a.m. And well, actually, now you guys traveled, so no, it's about 6, 7 a.m. And you guys can just barely still see as you guys wake up, there's still that dark figure with the two smaller ones about 100, 150 feet away on the edge of the forest line. Most likely the wyvern and the dragonborn still waiting. You guys gather yourselves and taking off again. We got that long way? Yep. Long way? Yep. What can we do? Uh, why they're figuring out what they want to do before we board. Board. I've like made four more gallons of beer. To attempt. And I fill up my water skin. Attempt another. And I fill up his water skin. <laughs> another mm-hmm. magical adventure here. Hungover. You say you, mm, a little bit. You write, a little dehydrated. You, this requires some like magical input. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll drink sure. some of my water skin. Well, just like something simple, like it takes like. You're not drunk. Well, I mean, you said I was a little hungover and dehydrated, so I did. <clears throat> so like, I, what we were talking about earlier, brought, was the air, it. like the caravan coverage, yeah. just like kind of a. Is he getting fucked up? Are you asking him to write things? Okay. Yeah, he's he's talking about writing down. Why don't you ask for like? like why don't you see if you could get like one of them storm chaser bikes, but like a that seems a, a bigger version. Probably unlike. It doesn't need to be fast. Just needs to. We're just gonna we're just gonna kiss. Just keep gonna kiss. keep it simple, stupid. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you and me kiss right now. <laughs> Do it. And Girth's just crying. And... He's just jealous. Jealous. Just like, <laughs> I wish I was loved. Ah, fuck. All right, so what are you guys doing? He's uh, doing a thing. What we, would be good? Be Let's brainstorm it. What would we need to need help just, us survive so our trip? Strain. Strumming away. Strumming. While I have a headache. Ugh. Or a little more, a little, little taller, a little, little more, more structured. A little, yeah. Okay. Why am I doing this? Right. All right, what are you guys doing? We're waiting for him to fucking Playing write. My instrument. instrument. Down. What's in Tinker's story? What are you doing? Like parts of Tinker's yeah. tools? Like a bunch of little hand tools, like tinkering. Yeah, so like I think, like, think like a clock maker. Yeah, yeah, like a little mallet. Just in. Well, like, like doesn't have it. I don't have nails. I have pittance though. So like, those are like really big, big nails. nails. Worst case scenario, if you ruin the boat, you <laughs> buy a new one. How it's many? only fifty gold. How many? No, this is a very special boat. We can't buy a new boat. This is a very special Oh, yeah, boat. it's the Pokemon boat. This is, yes, I can. Yeah. So, yeah, what? I'll fuck up my, my boat. So, I've written. It's okay, I have this stapler in my tankler tools. <laughs> we'll use that instead. <laughs> this little I fucking not, hand. <laughs> I have not written this down in character. Out of character, I have written a bolstered written. tapestry of war. You should probably put the specifics on how big you want that. At yeah, Jake. Maybe instead of tapestry, you should do like a tarp or something. Because yeah, this is gonna be outside. Of... Tapestry's like this guy. No yeah. fucking. <laughs> oh fuck! Kill us all. Like a rug. It'll be like it'll be like a <laughs> like a rug. <laughs> I'm assuming like a tapestry would almost be like the same, like a. Ah, 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 I can't ah, think ah, of it. Ah. So something more like this. Something. Yeah. Okay. There we yeah. go. How long, is so, boat? how long is the boat? How long is the how boat? How about them? Uh, let's say, let's let's say, it's say like 10. I mean, it's 15, 10, 10 feet. Uh, let's say it's like, yeah, I'll say 10 feet. You should probably add an adjective that makes it strong. Okay. So it comes to the end of the boat. This is just, this how about is, them? Doodle knots? Doodle knots? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's a mad limbs. Um, uh, while this is going on, um, and everyone else is away, I'm trying to get the. I will. Uh, <laughs> I will. Uh, 
crack open Cassandra Volt's grimoire. Okay. Do a light reading, light morning reading. I'm okay. waiting for Boat Boy to figure this shit out. All right. Okay, before you write it down, tell us. Those are limited. Reinforced tarp of war. Ten. Ten by ten what? By twenty what? Because it could come out and be like... Yes. Like, yes. Yes. It forms. You wait. Yeah. And it's you're just, waiting. It's just a man. And, and never gets it's it. ten inches by looking at so did, did, you, did anyone ever figure out if maybe, just maybe, the quill kind of knows what you want and it just does what you want? Oh, because I've always done it five it's times. Safe, yeah. It's safe to be specific. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's yeah. true. I feel like you can't go wrong. Reinforced tarp of war. Ten feet. Say yeah, okay, so we can get Watch it come out and it's just like a warm color. Yeah. It's not actually. Okay. Warm. <laughs> so you write this, yes? yes. Can we, can we, can give me a check. Okay. Wait, 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 no. We should buff him. I was gonna say. Someone guidance this motherfucker. Life is the only one who can guidance. He guidance. Bardic inspiration. Yeah, Alright, sure. Bardic inspiration. D8. Sure. Uh, I believe so. Can you use both of those? I have an inspiration I can yes. use. If you roll bad. <laughs> You might have one that I haven't. You might. I know. You, I know you sharpened a sword at one point. Do you get plus three to your own rolls? That was. Yes. Yes. Well, no, no. This is a. This is a check. Who knows? So he's giving me my proficiency. Just roll the damn dice. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's a 17, oh. 17 plus seven plus. Oh a yeah. D8. Oh yeah. So <laughs> you. So I'm not. Well, I have all the. You do the right. same small ritual of you writing and then waiting. After you wait a few moments, you see the paper once more fizzle, and as it does, you see this large, almost like, uh, I'd say two, two and a half inches thick long green oh, with like uh, edged in this like brownish fur um seems to be about the same size you wanted uh, as it comes out you notice it kind of falls down and as the paper you know goes to fizzle you see this large now what looks like this huge tarp um you watch the snow kind of hit it and it wicks off just slightly doesn't seem to be you know Infused with any moisture absorbing material, it seems to be able to wick. Maybe the fur is, you know, absorbing some sort of oil or something in it that is allowing it to wick off. But it seems to be very warm and quite large. Hey, let's secure it on the fucking mm -hmm. boat. Let's go. Use your whatever you said you had. Uh, we'll stay for I also <laughs> need to know if freedom of movement <laughs> would help at all with the wind. Mm. Might its whole thing is is essentially ignoring penalties to the movement and difficult terrain and oh so yeah forth. technically should. I feel like it should but that's kind of how long does how does freedom movement last an hour so it could be an hour yeah, some of these are like checks so be an hour of uh, yeah the checks saves. the checks would get destroyed because he would be immune to those effects yeah yeah, yeah be difficult terrain movement. and like a gust of wind is like different. Difficult terrain, like, would be like, you know, you're jumping over, like, a... a what isn't... I mean, difficult terrain flying in the air, it would be similar, but you don't, like, see it coming. There's no way to, like, prep for it or no. It's like a reaction. The, I would say that would, that would be the, the only difference in the way I would roll it. freedom of movement is, is an hour. It's just always on. It's not a reaction thing. Right, but it says it's just unaffected by difficult terrain and spells and effects that reduce your speed. It also is talks about how if you were like underwater, you wouldn't be heated by water at all. The water is an all-encompassing yeah, impediment. Yeah, and but if, if, if you can not run under water, yeah, but if you can run underwater unimpeded, why would wind be any different? Because it's not just wind; it's a storm. It's like ice and sleet. It and like if it was just wind, I would, I would probably say okay. But it's you're you're not just fighting against wind; you're fighting against carrying individuals. While also maintaining probably already a strength limitation that you're already undergoing in, you know, hundred so miles plus at some points in subthermal weather with ice and 
snow right. hitting you. Then I won't worry about it then. So if it was just wind, yeah, I could see that. All right, won't worry about it. Uh, then, yeah. So uh, have we attached this thing to the boat yet? Yep. Yep, you guys attached it. Do you want enhance ability from life again? All right. Much. Um. Thank you. Okay, right. Uh, I didn't notice it until. Oh, I could. Yeah, now oh, I'm boiling alive, though. No, it's not. Oh, my God. How the fuck? <laughs> instantly, 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 <laughs> instantly too hot. All right, so you guys, you take it off? Uh, you gathering yeah. yourselves? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll take the... I'll take the, the this the can't help at all, by the way. Yeah. Really? Nice. You, you can tell that there is definitely a, a, a more warmth as you guys, you know, now have your... Bed rolls and this, you guys are quite and snuggling. And sneeze new winter clothes. Yeah, I, I would and say we, just hope we're nothing. We're bundled up pretty hard. Ho- just hope nothing, you know, catches you guys. Hopefully, we don't get attacked by a wild. Or, or something, yeah. Because you guys are definitely going to be impeded on reactions. 100%. You can't even fucking say anything. Right. I mean, dragon thing. We're just fuckers just, are following us. <clears throat> so we're just what? quacking along. We're just like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh-huh. you, you uh-huh. pick it up. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. All right, so you you guys all gather in. You harness and snuggle your way into your comfy positions. I'm just passing around my beer. You become as warm as possible. Ask Life to cast Detect Magic. Yeah, he waits a second, then he... uh, All right. And he casts it. I don't know why... How these dragon They look at you and he waits a moment. Um you have quite a few magical items on you. Um you, you kinda go and give me an investigation check. Anything with like tr- the investigation? <laughs> yep. As you're kinda looking around and he's trying to like help you look. He air on me. Ooh. <laughs> One. One? Yeah, I rolled a two. Um, <laughs> now you look around. Uh, you find um, an assortment of things that you kind of don't remember having. Um, you're not quite sure when you gathered them, you know, along the travels. Um, but nothing that really stands out. Um, you have some coins that you've gathered that were in some other pockets that you don't really, you know, remember putting in those pockets. You have... Some dirt that, you know, kind of made its way into your stuff, but nothing really that really stands out. That's your tracker. Right? <laughs> Does life see anything within like 30 feet of us with this tech magic? Um, your cloak is glowing. That I guess would be the new thing. Yours isn't, nor is the tarp. He has the... He has the other. Re- oh, story. yours then, not He's yours. He's got the one that I was wearing. Okay, yours is. You have some sort of glow to that cloak that you're not quite sure what it is, but it seems to be glowing. Aside from that, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary in the area. Well, let's Can go. You continue on. Yeah. Let's get drunk. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Yeah, You're a goose. goose. How about the driver? <laughs> Not in the so, boat. So, <laughs> straight check. All right. Now, as you guys lift off, you guys notice that nice. the uh, rest of... 19 total? Okay. So, as you guys lift off, you notice that most of the rest of this journey in the direction you're now heading is a little bit more, like, southward in a way. And you notice that the wind has kind of shifted, helping you out, actually. Um, I'm going to see how long... Oh yeah, for quite a while, for most of the time you'll be traveling, um, from what you can tell. As you guys lift off, you notice that not only with your strength, but on, but also with the wind, you possibly will get through quite a big chunk here. Um, you guys will, though, as you guys go through, I need con saves with advantage, because you guys are bundled up here. I assume mine's at this point now? Yep. 18, so it's a pass. 18. Yep, you're good. This is four if you fa- um, fail. 
Two if you pass. pass. Nothing. Yep, two if you pass. 18. Oh, nice. it's 21. Yep. Do we get another advantage because we're all drunk? No. <laughs> Damn. So you guys fly through, That's feeling like nothing for horrible. basically taking a little bit of damage, but you're kind of getting used to this. How long have we been in here? Um, now that you guys fly, you guys go about another two hours. As you guys do so, those of you in the back, give me um, perception checks. As you guys have now flown... And saves for the beer you're drinking. Um, and okay. you, fuck this, being the one with the map, um, give me a... We'll just call this... Mm, God, give me a... I want you to make me a map check here. Let's make this a... Give me a wisdom. Plus your proficiency. Yeah. What do the other people have to do? You guys are making perceptions. Okay. He's trying to figure out how far you guys have traveled, and while the rest of you guys are kind of looking about... Nine. Nine. And then wife here... Uh, 17. Okay, so you guys look around. Um, life and um, girth over here n see these small little black figures, very faint, just whoosh, kind of sift by very quickly, maybe 20, 50 feet from the basket or the boat. Wait, how is he seen? Arp over us. Oh, you guys are completely covered. Okay, well, never mind. You hear them then. You just hear these quick little. Whoosh, Wait, how'd you think the tarp was on? I mean, I thought should it was just wrapped around. Manage, I mean, yeah, yeah, you should. But I mean, I thought someone would, you know, at least maybe leave some of it. But now you guys are completely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even if there's a whole person up. to peek out of, how's a random perception shake while we're all just chilling? Gonna. Well, hearing. Yeah. No, I mean, oh, like, yeah. how would how would we how would we, so, we have to actively go peek? That's why I said I didn't know that board. everybody <laughs> was completely yeah. underboard. Well, then you you guys just hear these like faint little. A few times, maybe two, three. That's it. You just hear them, and then you wait a moment. Nothing. You wait another moment, and then you hear. And then it just so, jaunts off. Hook my head out. Nothing. Just take 33. <laughs> yeah, I was, well, I was waiting for him to say something. Your head just freezes. <laughs> the rest of your body's fine. It's ripped off. <laughs> and you're dead. No, no, you guys, you travel. Um, I got you, a 16 on the. You can tell um, just by knowing kind of the area and how far you've traveled, um, the best that you can guess, you've almost gone 30 miles with the wind. From the rest? Mm hmm. And you have only traveled for about two hours. You know that you can probably travel for maybe another two hours. And you know that you're probably within maybe 30 miles ish of wherever this high peak is. And you know it's a mountain range. And aside from that, you don't really know too much about it. But it's one of the only mountain ranges in the area. So that's one of the landmarks you're kind of looking for. So you guys travel on for about another hour. You guys. Can he still hear me if I'm talking to the ring? Even as a. Mm. I think because magic, you can hear, you can't See, respond. Te technically right. speaking, I can choose if I if I'm wearing this shit, but I would have I would have all in. So the only thing I don't know. The yeah, someone would probably have to come out or yell or something. Be like, yeah. hey, you know. Yeah, you could just. I'll just yeah. yell. Yeah. All right. So you just kind of like at the point when you said, probably, right? Judging by my calculations, we're right. probably about thirty miles. Okay, so you kind of yell that. Focus on the word calculation. He's the breed. Pictures. Pictures. No, he's no, he's no, it's like just maps. That's why he's everything else, map. everything else is pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, very. Who's little. this guy? Huh? <laughs> so you guys travel on. Um, as you guys go a little bit longer, uh, you give me a survival check, and you can either aid him or roll separate to guide him to find this area. As you guys are trying to go through the storm, um, basically looking for any sort of landmark or idea of where this mountain range could possibly be. Try not to get lost. <laughs> and I'm gonna need constitution I'll aid, I guess. I'll aid you. from everybody. You don't have to... Oh, okay. 
Sexy. I'm assuming it's 17 instead of 16 now. Yep. 19, 19. 19 for the survival. Okay. okay. Nine. Nine. You ate him? Yeah. This is okay. the constitution save for the thingy? Oh, yeah. You will fail. All right, so yeah. if you fail the con save, you are taking five damage. If you pass, you'll take two. What's the threshold? What's the... DC for the con save? Yeah. 17. Uh, 17 now. Now, as you guys fly through, still kind of being out, you with your 19, you wait a few moments, about 20 minutes, and you kind of rise up a little bit. And as you do so, you find a patch where the snow, just for a little bit, you see the snow lessen. And just for a moment, far off, maybe 5, 10 miles, you're not quite sure, you see large, dark, kind of billowing peaks that start to come into range. As you do so, you immediately know that this is what you were looking for. As the mountain starts ranging and you see around you, Nowhere near anywhere mountains or plateaus near the height of this. You see the base of it stretching maybe five to eight miles in width. And as you get closer, you see it's quite large and it goes straight up. As you do so, you see that there are small, like almost like snow peaks that have been formed that are just lurching and some have fallen and avalanched onto the surrounding areas around. As you guys get closer, you guys kind of sift up and start making your way up where you see that there is no trailway that makes its way around. The only way to make it up this peak would either be to climb it or to do what you're doing now and flying. As you do so, you kind of ascend upwards. As you do, give me a perception check. Uh, 12. 12. You see, after a couple circles around looking for anything you see a small faint black smoke that's kind of billowing off the back end as you kind of circle around you wait maybe five ten seconds and then you see this light and this lantern kind of flicker and you see this cave you see it's kind of been almost like pulled the snow all out of this like mountainside and inside almost something either drilled into or concaved into and you see footsteps you get a little bit closer and you see most of the snow is completely covered and encompassed all of the trails and anything near it but you see near the entrance there seems to be no snow warmth uh, fire something that is keeping the snow at bay you wait a few more moments and you see a couple small dark figures from your distance, you know, looking like maybe humanoids, maybe five to seven feet, eight feet in height, moving. They came to be carrying some sort of instrument or some sort of large structure on their backs. You wait a few moments and you see that this entrance kind of closes for a second. And then these individuals, something lands very quickly. And then as you do so, you see it then walking. And whatever it has slung over its back, you see it wait in this cave entrance very quickly. <laughs> opens. And you see this warmth and almost like this lantern lit of this orangish red like light kind of just emitting out. And then some sort of darkness <laughs> close again. You wait a few more minutes and you see a couple more. <laughs> these dark individuals flying at very quick speeds and then landing into the snow impacting very softly as they almost like skid up to this cave entrance you see maybe four or five individuals go in and out as this repetitively happens and you know that somebody's on the peak and if there's someone there it's going to be in that location uh okay um i will yeah, I'll just slowly, I'll honk, get everyone, uh, no. honk, honk, get everyone's <laughs> attention, uh, and once everyone is kind of like, me up and up, uh, I'm going to start slowly coasting down, uh, but ready to take yeah. off again if necessary. All right, so you sure. notify everybody as this honk. happens, the rest of you kind of see after a few moments what's kind of happening. You notice that you start descending down towards... You guys do anything as your descent is happening? I'm drinking. So, you guys, I'm as you guys descend down, 
you see for a moment nothing. Now, are you guys all still beneath the cover? Till we land. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys coast down. You make it. How far do you want to make it from the entrance? They're like a landing? Yeah, or? it's a small landing. It's like a plateau with large kind of like cavern mountain walls that just lurch up hundreds and hundreds of feet. Uh, how far away are these people like you uh 50 to 60 feet and from where you are you're about 200 feet currently and you're kind of just floating i'll be at like at least 100 all right so you kind of coast in you drop and yeah. now just open in basically no man's land you kind of land you guys feel the bottom of this boat hit you wait a few moments you see the doorway or whatever this entrance is kind of lurch open and you see one dark figure walking out with its silhouette amongst the black of the orangish red light and then you see the doorway <laughs> close you see under barely the brightness of morning but kind of hidden by the darkness of these large mountains and the sun kind of hindered by all the snow this dark silhouetted figure making its way towards you as it gets closer you see this wind that's kind of wisping and wicking up around it and makes it maybe 50 feet and you see what looks to be almost like this almost vortex that is kind of flowing around this individual with this large mechanical or some sort of instrument or something strapped to its back you wait a moment you see it move its hand in some sort of waving pattern what do you do? After I drop off the boat, land, longer be a... Okay, so you change back. And I will wave back. All right, you wave. As you do so, you take a few moments, and you see it steps a little bit closer, maybe 25, 30 feet now, and you hear kind of a deeper voice. What brings you to the peaks? We're looking for a certain individual. Onru, I believe. And what are you looking for Onru for? We uh, have some associates that pointed us in his direction. My understanding, he knows how to get places very quickly. And that's what we're looking for. Huh. You wait a minute and still under the shadow, you can't really make out any of the features. You wait a few moments and the individual walks a little bit closer. You wait a minute and then you see like this slicked back kind of bright mohawk of this like white and mixed purple of this like kind of pulled back knotted mohawk of this what you can tell to be an, an air genasi. You see the skin kind of lightish and blue and it's you very kind of similar to a pale complexion. Um, in this wind vortex that is just swirling around. You see some of the tattoos that are kind of going up and down the body. I am Jacophine. What brings you all the way here, business seeking me? Kind of stares for a moment, and then you wait. You see bright like purple robes as he walks closer with this huge orangish kind of bronze belt that he wears and he doesn't seem to be affected by the cold you see he's you know in like cutoffs and almost like a robe he makes his way closer uh we are associates of both percy Rivak. we were in your direction, we need to make it to Audre very quickly. And one of your associates, as he kind of looks at the rest of them, as you guys now kind of start crawling out, this is your band of associates. They work with you. You. Kind of looks you all over for a moment. Are you all honest? Yeah. There we are. We try our best. Yep. There is a lot of dishonesty in the world. I agree, but what lies within these peaks, if I'm to 
determine whether you are friend or foe is very important. Things are happening. And if I'm to trust you, I need to know that the information that possibly transfers from our lips will not be spoken amongst those that are not, let's say, within our circle. I don't know about anything else, but I don't even remember where I am right now. Catch my drift. No. I'm not gonna fucking tell anybody, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Nobody fucking gets anything I say. No. <laughs> I genuinely didn't. Um, I'm going back to drinking. If you show us your respect, we will show you ours. Typically how we function give what we get fortunately we get a lot of shit he waits a moment and you see this large almost like um long board that he pulls off of his back and you see it's almost got like these jet fins that splinter off of the back and of the front and you see him kind of sling it around and it stands about almost six feet in length and him standing about six and a half seven feet himself he kind of puts his arm up on it and stands there. I have means of possibly helping. And he kind of rocks it back and forth. Many come seeking my ways, but... Trust must be earned. He just looks at you all and then he, he points. There's a cave. Just to the east of here. Trolls. They impede what I am trying to do. Take them out. And I will help you in whatever way you need. What is it that you are trying to do? Are these like the smarty trolls or the feral I'm going to eat <clears throat> trolls? To you, he says, I will tell you once I trust you. And I'm not sure, but they attack on sight. Have you, I assume you've attempted to fight them off? Mm, not worth my time. I've tried to move around it, but and he kind of looks that way. That side of the mountain is important. And he kind of looks, and you notice that off in that direction, it just kind of disappears into the fog, as now you guys are very close to the edge. And as you guys kind of look this way, you see the part of the mountain in the point of the way where he's pointing beyond this cave, the side of the mountain just becomes engulfed in fog and cloud. I need... I need to be able to go that way. Make it safe for me. We can work together. He kind of turns and without saying anything, just starts walking back. I saw one like grow their leg back once. Weird. Like just keep a troll and just dismember it. Just no. grow back like a he, farm. He turns it's and he makes up. it. Yeah, you don't, you don't talk to me very often. <laughs> no, that's, that's terrible. Without, I'm utilitarian. Does involved. anybody address him before he makes his way back? Let's go kill. I look forward to working with you. You see he takes part of his hand and just raises it behind him as he keeps on walking. And that seems to be the only signal he gives you of recognition as he's about 25 feet away before he continues walking and makes his way into this. Now as you are a little bit more keen on looking, you see the cave wall and something, it looks as if almost a constant flow of wind or something is just stopping when someone walks and then when it closes, it's a constant stream of just brutal wind or something being put.
push, pushed or flushed or something. You're just saying there's like a dome yeah. of wind just like Being fucking... pushed in there. Yeah. Just yeah. fucking swirling around whatever this is. Or something, yes. Like a mini vortex tornado or something being, you know, encompassing this entrance. So there's like entrance, there's like outside... It's like this fucking like a wall of force, like the skull mm -hmm. almost. And then, it, and then it just like drops for a and second. Then whatever's inside. Yep. And then it's brought does it back like, up. Does it like split or does the whole thing drop? Drop. Yep. So you just see like this opening, and then whenever an individual is walking through it, this drops, and then is it looks like brought back up after the individual is brought back in. You wait a few moments, and you guys are now standing out in the cold. Time to go kill some trolls. So do we need to catch this tarp or is it like we store will, it with will the boat? Go back into what, the store with the boat? No. Oh, it's done thing. So even if we like detach the tarp, folded it up, left it in the boat. Nope. Anything you guys try and use for storage in there won't be brought back. Patch is its own thing. So if you guys, you know, like hoard it full of stuff, if you rip the patch, everything you have will just boom, fall to the floor. You can carry a tarp. You're a big strong man. Depends on how heavy it is. Well, I'm already. I'm holding. getting close. I only got like five. Like does have. I'd say it's about probably well, yeah, fifteen. Oh yeah, we can just we can yeah, shove it in the bag of holding. Only have just fold it up and we'll put it in the last bag of holding. Okay, yeah, so yeah, you, you can do that. All right, it, it weighs about seven. I'd say about fifteen to seventeen pounds. Yeah, I can't carry that. Well, can you? <laughs> yes, but yeah. All right, so you hand it off. So you guys gather yourselves. You I'm guys take any the, preparations? How many of those did you use? Maybe like six? Yeah. Three on each side? Right, wrap up those... What are they called? Pitons? Wrap them up in the tarp. I think it's pitons, but yeah. Yeah, anyway. T-O-N. So, either. You guys go through. You gather oh. yourself. You make any preparations. And then... What are you doing? If I do, if I, if I turn into goose again without taking a rest, uh, I'll be out of wild. Well, we, we gotta go where the trolls are. Kill them. Take a short rest. Come back. Yeah. But I want yeah. to kill things. Your fingers start blistering. Do the. They might be infected. Do you still have one more shape? No. So, looking, so how far away are we here. from the fog? Like a hundred feet? Um, no. So this cave entrance, from what you can see, is maybe half mile, and it's a little trek up the mountain. So you're gonna have to climb a little bit. There's not like an easy trail. Um, and then right behind that, up this like passageway, you literally see just on the side behind it. Like maybe 10, 15 feet right behind the entrance, just a wall of white, just fog and cloud that just, you know, and you're looking up, and then there's mountains that just transpire farther above that. You guys have almost dropped in like a pocket in the mountains. So everywhere you look around you, you know, you just see mountains. We have to... So we're in like a bowl. Mm -hmm. Essentially. Like and as you look up, you see like little, you know, outcroppings that have like grooved themselves out. And as you look up, you, you know, you're, you're going to have to maybe go up a little bit of a passageway and then climb, you know, maybe a couple hundred feet to be able to make it to where this entrance is. Or you could fly. I mean, it's up to you, but <clears throat> however you do that's up to you guys. Or fly? I mean, you guys could probably carry. I mean, if you do what you always do, yeah, you guys could, you know, hop all in the boat, yeah. do what you did. Try and find a little spot up there, somewhere to land, and drop it, and skip through that. But that's up to you guys. I'm just saying you could. It's it's not so enclosed that you couldn't fly through here. You it was big enough that you guys could fly and land. So. Bird is. We we need to be as fast as we possibly. Can. Yeah, and you guys are already about a day ahead of schedule. Uh, this this was like a three day travel, almost four, and you guys made it about day and a half, two days of travel. So you guys are only like a day and a half into travel right now, and you guys are already technically here. So we made good time. Yeah, yeah. wind and the storm actually helped you guys. Um, <laughs> right. Um. Then, uh, I'll. 
you already put away. Yeah, wait, I mean, we don't, uh, we're not going too far. We probably don't. Yeah. Especially because we're dropping into a combat situation. Um, then, buddy, in the boat. Alright, so life. The, the rest of you guys, you guys want Braun in. Mm -hmm. You guys grab under the rope, and you take off. As, uh, yeah, no. No, as you do so, you notice that some of the wind in the snow is not quite as fierce here. It's kind of blocking it. You uh, coast up a little bit um, as you're flying. Uh, whoever wants to do this, allow one or two, and you guys can eight or roll separate. Um, give me a survival check to try and you know, find this cave entrance and exactly where it's at. You can kind of see in an area where he pointed, but you need to try and find, you know, the exact I'm just looking opening. for trolls to shoot with my heat vision. Okay, so you're just, uh, so are you helping? You can be one of them. Someone else wants to? Okay. I'm not a survival guy. I'm just looking for trolls specifically yeah. while they look for the cave. See if there's any stragglers outside while we're looking. Well, do you want to aid him? I'd like someone who's better at it to aid him. Eight. I don't know just give him advantage. Yeah, you don't even have to roll for it. You don't have to it's, roll it's for not, it. It's not Starfire. Oh no. my god, thank it's you. No. Go it's, for it, you just say, You just say, <laughs> you just I, say I, I'm going to help you. Yes. Yeah, you're just helping him. It's like passing a heat check from Starfinder. I can't do that. Yeah. No, no. It's no. You don't even there's no DC to help. No. You just. Not advantage. 19. Oh, yeah. So you fly up, and as you immediately go up within. Nowhere near the snow that's you know piling in like it was out in the opening your eyes have adjusted and you can see now with the light kind of shining in you see an opening um, You see tons of snow though piled high, but you see large footsteps that are maybe five four feet deep um, Recent too. you notice that there's large tracks that have been pulled and you see what looks to be uh, Like a red stain that is quite prominent. You notice that it's like a um, Probably blood, but something has been drug into this cave. You see it kind of stained up and as you see it's about maybe five six hundred feet up um, You follow the trail and everybody uh, As you guys are being kind of flown up you see that there's a dropping of a landing that is probably eh, 200 feet below where this entrance is you see that there is still the snow and some of the blood that has been um, Kind of dripped from whatever has been melting down from outside of this cave entrance. You notice that the wall in which you guys would have to climb up is kind of easy to traverse. The snow is fresh on it, though there are quite large, jagged, you know, rocks and even some plateaus that you guys could even skip to um, if you guys wanted to. It's gonna be a series of acrobatics and athletics checks, but that would be essentially what that would be. I'm just happy I can fly. There's no way to just land there. We land lower and then climb. Yeah, lower. it's too jagged. The the cave entrance is like right at the top of like this wall, kind of. Oh, yeah. You know, like they literally have pulled whatever, and, and the snow and the blood is melting literally right off the edge, okay. out and down. So it's almost in. A cool yeah, like place. once you hit the top, you're gonna be like maybe five, ten feet right into the entrance. Okay. You're telling me there's like a wall. Yep, and that the goes up. Like yep, yep, yep. And the cave entrance, from what you can tell, is maybe 10 feet by 15 feet, maybe a little bit bigger, but from your vantage point, it's quite far away. So, okay. Which hilariously means there's probably a much easier way to get into this cave somewhere else. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, then I will I'll land. Okay. So you take a moment. You guys all get out of the boat. You guys are about, uh, about 100... 25 feet now that you guys get as close as you can and you really adjust and you guys start getting out part of your equipment um you pull the patch uh yeah i'll put the patch. all right so you transform back you pull the patch you guys gather yourselves now as you guys literally look you see that there is the smell that you're starting to pick up and as you look up everybody give me perception checks as you guys are now closer 13 13 17 17 9 see what wife sees here nope nothing <laughs> natural two so with what did you get 17 you see a faint silhouette of something white pretty furry and you're not quite sure exactly what it is 
but you see it move along the rest of the snow. You see it kind of move, and then you think it's just snow, maybe wind blowing, but then you really hone in, and you see that this is some sort of creature. You see it's quite tall, quite big. You're not quite sure if it's looking at you or if it's just doing some sort of pass. Um, it's quite close to the cave entrance, though. You see it's maybe 15 to 20 feet up on the wall above the entrance, seeming like it's maybe keeping watch. You see it kind of move around. Seems like it has something in its hand. You're not quite sure. Maybe some sort of weapon or food you're not able to see. But you take a few moments and then you see another one on the other side. So you see one on the top, like right above the cave entrance and one to the left, like above the entrance. They seem to kind of be just hanging out on this wall as you see the wall kind of like rescends back and it seems to flatten out almost like a plateau above the cave. And you just see two of them kind of just hanging out, looking down and around, but you guys seem to be low enough that you're not into their void or uh, vision. Now, what are you guys doing? You guys have a, about a 75, maybe 80 degree. Um, average grade that you guys need to climb up do you have any wild shapes no i will do that if i if i flew i wouldn't have any Dude, should we just take a short rest while we're hidden in this wall to uh, get a wild shape that because uh, we can sneak into the cave if you tunneled add your shit so I don't, <laughs> that's possible so i don't I can tunnel through dirt. I don't know if I can tunnel through stone. I thought you through, right? It'd probably be Let's stone. Say, yeah, you see a lot of this around you now is almost all stone. It, is any of this uh, like black, almost conflux? Mm, the, give me a perception okay. check. Ouch. Anywhere. Uh, 17. You possibly see trace elements, but not a lot. But you see some of the rock. Possibly has some black infused elements. We could also we could also try pass with out of the to try to stay hidden rolls so they don't mess with us while we're climbing. I didn't Ow. Uh, we can wouldn't find oops damage. Let's go then. I still want them to start chucking rocks. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. Look, we could use pass without the trace to get the short. <laughs> <laughs> it does last an hour. Because <laughs> <laughs> it just just lounge around, <laughs> just sit there for an hour, just hidden. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you have you have hidden <clears throat> me a rope. I mean, that will help climbing up this wall. I can also fly. So I can I can cool. jump up sixty. You can. No, no I can jump up 120 feet. Stamp it up hitting with the rope. Throw it down to you guys. Don't worry, that'll help. Minus one to your intelligence. So how tall, how, like, the, the height for me and, like, the... 120. 125. 125. So I'm going to cast invisibility yeah. on myself, and I'm going to dash, use my bonus action on psionic leap, I'm just gonna fucking dead eye jump yeah. in the entrance of that cave and visit. Okay, so you see, um, give me a stealth check. You're not seen, but just your landing and your next pole vault up and your next landing. Before I just wanna make sure. That, just imagine like a Yoda jump, like just like. Oh, I am, I am. That's what I'm saying. Do weird flips, but I'm being spin. a showman. I'm being a showman, but nobody can see it. You spin about it. You know how they, how they always you spin and kind of land elegantly? That's a good yeah. Question. I don't know. Hey, do you have 125 feet of rope? Now I do. Yeah. Because <laughs> hey, we should probably Jeez, give you rope yeah, before you go. Give that, yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. As true. you're going up here, fuck this. Take this! He throws this. Yeah. There's just a floating rope. Yeah. Yeah. Invisible. <laughs> Doodle it. <laughs> yeah. The fuck it, there's like eight fucking... Why isn't this work? No, you can do acrobatics or... Or, um, you need to stealth check here. Sorry. I'm plus eight. 17 plus eight. Okay, so as you do so, you land. Easy peasy. Now, give me acrobatics or athletics to so just make sure when you land, you're not going to, you know, pole vault 
and slip and not do anything crazy here. 17. Oh, yeah, you're easy. So you go up, you land elegantly. You lurch down and springboard back up and just pole vault up and you soar up. You elegantly land down. And as you do, you turn and you see to the right and to the left, not just two like he saw, but you see two and two smaller ones that seem to be lying down on all four. Are they like, so there's the cliff. Mm -hmm. So are they standing like here? No, they're not standing. The two. No, I'm talking about the standing ones. No, they're above. They're above the cave entrance. So you, you are here. They're like up here. You know, you, now, they, they, how, now, how close are these to the edge? Of where you're at? Yeah. 30 feet. They're like one off to the top right, one off to the top left. No, he's from the, no, edge, no, of the, the edge of the cliff. Like, uh, where it, maybe like 10 feet back. It kind of rescends back off. You know, it kind of like coves back. Damn. Now, and then as soon as it you, was like this, and they're like right Now, right as there. soon as you <laughs> land, you see two, maybe one to your right. A little bit smaller, still large creature. And you see it on all four. It looks as if it's almost like napping. And then you turn to the left and you see another one is. You see it move. What was yourself? 27. I'm also invisible. Yep. It's, so it, I'd, I'd be 32. Yeah. But visible is heavily obscured. You wait a minute. You see the one to your right stand up. The one to your left just seems to roll over, possibly sleeping. The one stands up. It kind of... It's looking right in your direction. And it kind of just moves its head around and looks to the left. It glances so what, so back to the I'm, right. I'm standing like here, right? Mm-hmm. This is the cliff, and mm-hmm. you have these two lying. Right and here. about five, maybe eight feet in front of you is the cave entrance. You have like this little pocket of almost like a half moon shaped. And to your right, you see maybe 15 to 20 feet before that ends. And it just goes straight up where these creatures are. And you see about 15 feet to your left, the same thing. And one of them is to the left, and one is to the right. And you only have maybe eight feet of ledge to work with. You got about eight feet, and about maybe 15 feet. How close feet. is the sleeping one to the edge of falling? Right next to it. Yeah. Well, I, I know what you want. I, I want to do it. And then you <laughs> and see it the would one. would distract him. And then you see the one on the other side looking like it's moving towards you, and it's looking. It takes a few moments. It, and then you see it look to the one up on the top right, and it's like, huh? <clears throat> and you see something points off in your direction. You see the other one, it kind of jumps down about 15 feet and looks right at it. You see it hold on to the side of the ledge, kind of looks around right in your direction. You see it pick up a rock and it throws it at the other one, and it's <clears throat> And you see its tusks as it turns. The one that was sleeping are huge. It kind of rolls over in this large, like, bluish white cloak of almost this mane that is just encumbered with snow. As it rolls over, and it just smells. Come on, 32 stealth. Come on, 32 stealth. Come on, 32 stealth. Sees nothing, it seems. You now see one to the left of you that's about eight feet, and the one to the right of you that's maybe seven feet, and they both are just looking at each other, like right through you. I'm just like, this is nice. You see one up to the top right, it's kind of looking down. You hear, and a smaller, skinnier one making its way down from the left. How big is the sleeping one? Uh, the smallest one, uh, the sleeping one is the smallest one, but it's got the biggest tusk, and it's about eight feet now that it's standing and close to you. And it's the smallest. These are all easily large creatures. I mean, they are hawking, and you see that they are quite thick, probably in weight anywhere between three to 700 pounds. You take a minute, and then you look, 
give me a perception check at advantage now that you see them kind of moving around freely and them not know this that you're 16. there. You see that their eyes and their pupils for just a moment as you look like hum this slight blue. And as you look around, you look further in this cave, and as you do, you see this small bluish hum. It seems to be kind of sitting maybe 40, 50 feet deeper inset. You see it sitting on like this small ice pedestal. And as you look closer, you see what looks to be like this blue fractured gem. You wait a moment and you see this large trolled creature walk in front of you, impeding your vision from that gem. And you see it. At that moment, the other ones kind of scurry back and immediately like come to attention as you hear. You see this larger one start making its way towards the exit. You see it's about maybe 10 to 15 feet from where the entrance of the cave meets and where you go, about 25 feet from where you are. It starts making its way closer. Oh, I should have bought explosives. And closer. <laughs> As it happens, you see the other trolls kind of scurry around and like leave, almost like exiting the premise. As this happens, you hear this, this hulking huge troll. Now at the entrance, almost like 10 to 15 feet, you see it kind of pull its arm in and kind of I mean, I'm, I'm imagining like out. a yeti from like Rudolph. And as it does so, you're kind of standing right underneath in between its legs and its torso as it kind of lumbers itself out. And as you do so, you see right in the center of its chest, this bright blue gem that's kind of lurched into it and in its skin has just kind of grown around it. You see these tusks that are just fanged with blood that's just kind of dripping and you see it as this blood drop just and just kind of hits right on your arm and it kind of wicks onto your robe and you look around seeing if they notice and it seems as if the other ones were too scared to and the other one is too big to have just looked straight down. You almost shit yourself for a second <laughs> and then you wait standing completely still and you see the one it kind of lurch itself back in and lumber itself back into this huge cave entrance turn its back and walk all the way back in. Are the other ones still freaking out? As it walks back in, you see them. They kind of reach back into the entrance of the cave, and you see them look in, and as he turns, and you see the blue gem emit once more, you hear this loud thump, and almost like the snow and ice just kind of emit from the inside of this cave entrance. And that's where we're going to end today's uh, episode and we'll pick up next week with you guys fighting these trolls or doing whatever you're gonna do i was about to shove the sleeping one off the side i mean the the biggest was hanging out the <clears throat> that was, i don't think i can that big oh if it's huge yeah that was no before. it's yeah this thing was like almost 20 yeah. feet yeah and you get the yeah yeah so we'll pick up there well, next week away. And then, yeah, um, I would get, I would get rid of my invisibility. Breaking into a troll no. cave and doing whatever you're doing. I mean, I would have done it and then, like, jump somewhere. Yeah, you just <laughs> jump down. Hey, that's one way you could. Make some troll ladies. All right, but yeah, we'll pick up there next week. Until next time. Peace out. <laughs>